Welcome, everybody, to... Oh, just in time! Perfect timing. You knew he was pressing start, didn't you? <laughs> she literally wasn't here, like, five seconds ago until, like... Okay. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Jasmine's podcast hour. Apparently. Uh, to synchronize. Her, her podcast. Yeah, her podcast. Podcast with her perfect timing. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We are fucking terrible. Yeah. Dude, oh, I, damn. Jasmine almost closed the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time she did something like that. So, mm, welcome to synchronize. Uh, all S and K talk, and you know, occasional all S and K, all S and K, and occasional Transformers talk. You know, for no reason. <laughs> and um, get out. <laughs> see you guys later. <laughs> Have a good night, and we'll talk to you. Again. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, yeah, no trailers today. Unfortunately, well, at least nothing that we know of. Yeah, so so yesterday we didn't get a silhouette, and mm -hmm. they were like, "Hey, we're not revealing a character tomorrow. You're gonna have to wait until the following week for the next character reveal." And we're like, "Oh, mm -hmm. but who knows? Maybe we'll finish the Women Fighters team next week." <laughs> is that, I mean, is that the long? Or, okay, whatever team Yuri's on, is that the longest we've gone so yeah, far without I, I, a thing? Yeah. Pretty sure. You know what they should just keep doing? They should just keep revealing women and then just never finish, like, Dude, except so for the good. last one and just, like... Dude, like I already joked about it, it's going to be the Alex trailer. <laughs> He'll be the leader of the women's fighters. Oh, yeah, right? just make him, yeah. Right, from, from a Capcom fighting jam, the, the, the Jetta Bliss, version. The Midnight Bliss version. Yeah, uh-huh, exactly. Uh, but no one's Which well. has almost as many figures as Alex does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. We've definitely talked about this a lot in the past, uh, but Noah's Wild says, I would love to see you wish of characters that Synchronize would to see in KOF 15 being a really realistic chance. I guess what we did is we went through the KOF 14 yeah, roster. Yeah, the, the 14 characters that we think right. are coming yeah, back or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and besides the fact that, like, I think every week I'm like, Guy Tendo, Adelheid. Yeah. Um, besides that, like, we could totally do, like, yeah. you know what would be really cool? I mean, obviously for me it's just the sports team. Yeah, you want the sports that. team, we both want Duck. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At this point, you want Takuma because Takuma wants you. <laughs> Takuma. Do you upside down? Yes. <laughs> Takuma. Okay. Uh, um, but yeah, so we're probably not getting a trailer of any kind, yeah. but there's a chance we might get something. something because right. last time we didn't get a silhouette, we still got something. We got a moxa, right? Yeah, I think it was yeah. the Amoxa reveal or yeah, something, uh -huh. which they didn't necessarily tell us was happening. Right. So, I mean, we could be getting a little more news, more information. I mean... They said it was no character reveal. We might get, like, system mechanics to oh, watch Oh, don't do that to people. Don't yeah. do that to people. Oh, God, I don't give me hope. Don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. So, I mean, E3 was this week. Um, we did get at least one cool reveal last week. Oh, okay. for the, E3, you mean? Well, at, at, in the time frame of right, E3, yeah, 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 yeah. a new mm -hmm. game was shown, um, which is the new Metal Slug Tactics. Okay. Which looks great. Uh, is that... Did they talk about that on their Twitter? On the SNK? Um, I mean, I don't... Uh, I mean, yeah, it should be on there. I know I've retweeted about it, so, I mean, if nothing else, you can find it online. Oh, yeah, and we should probably also mention that Samurai Showdown is on sale on Steam right yeah, now. Yeah, for, so. like, what, 30 bucks for Season 1, 2, and, two, and base yeah. game? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Which is that's pretty cheap. Let's see. Do they have anything about the... Nope. No? I think... I think we've gone too far. Oh, okay. wait. Metal Slug Sect. Uh, oh, there was it, it was. There? Yeah, oh, it was. Okay. It was right next to the uh, drawing of Luong. A little, uh, little further. Uh, maybe a little more. Oh, here, here we go. The reveal yeah. trailer. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So we can watch this at least if yeah. you want it. Let's, so, let's, let's just watch so this. So it's then. a .emu game. .emu. Right. Did it mean? Where? .emu. Oops, that's the wrong. Yes, it definitely is 11 on the table. I, I was joking with him earlier. I was going to just put it on display like this. But, I mean, might as well, yeah. right? I mean, I mean, it's still got, like, the original GameStop price tag on it. <laughs> well, the original used games. No, that's actually the brand new one. That's right, because it was 19.99 on release. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Because if it was a $60 game, 
the used price would be fifty four ninety nine. <laughs> If you're lucky. <laughs> Freaking. Anyways, all right, let's take a look at this here. Again, you guys won't be able to hear us during it a little bit, so. Leaker. Leaker. I have no idea what that's going But, I mean, here's the thing. I'm here for it just for the animated. Yeah, dude, this is sick. You're going to have to add this to your anime presentation. Yeah, man. Oh dang, it just, it just is a tactics game! Yes. Also that 98 hood. Hey. This is the first time I get to find out the name of half of these characters. See, I've always been on Ares. I don't get the Fiello. I'm on Ares. Huh. I can just get something pulled up in my idea. Nope, not anymore. No, I mean, you guys, you guys can have Fiona, it's fine, but I've been Team Airy, like, forever. And they both got abs in this game for some reason, so... I'm fine with it. Oh. It's harm is still amazing. I love this old-school anime, it's so dude. good! This, this is so sick. Oh, dang. So sick. So, yeah, you is, this a, is this a mobile game? I don't think so, but I'm not sure. Uh, uh, Can't see through all the things. Yeah, I know. Just wrong. Oh, this yeah, is no. Doesn't say anything there. Okay, okay. So I'm not sure. I wasn't paying enough attention to be completely honest if there right, was a thing. Right. But I'm just like, okay, that's happening. Uh, now, of course, I'm going to be the guy who's going to be like, I really hope it gets some of the characters from like Metal Slug Attack and Metal Slug Defense. Because uh -huh. that game introduced so many new characters for like the so Ptolemaic army and they stuff. They said it's Steam. It's, it's Steam. Steam only, in fact. Yeah. And and you know what? Which I means just... good because then I can use a mouse to play an RT yeah. to play a strategy game. I'm sitting here watching this trailer, and like I said, I don't know much about the Metal Slug characters, mm -hmm. but I'm surprised I don't have like Theo as a waifu at this point in time. Right? Glasses, redhead glasses, uh -huh. ponytail. Uh -huh. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. I think um, yeah. I'm gonna have to pay attention a little yeah. more now. Theo for KOF 15. <laughs> Theo for KOF 15. There you go. 15. You have now joined everyone else. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Let's do it. Theo for KOF. I'm totally down for it now. So one of these days, I'm gonna make you play Max Impact. I, I need to sit down and just play all the Metal Slug games. Well, yes, that too. I mean, we could do that for some of the episodes. Like, if they say no character reveal, just, like, just have it. a day to just both sit down and play some Metal Slug and just laugh and shoot things, right? So, yeah. is it, it's Infinite Continues too, right? And, um, and I think for some of the home versions okay, at least, okay. yeah. Bongo but, Cat. But, uh, but yeah, so that trailer is awesome. That I is just, cool. I'm just really hoping for a bunch of, like, extra characters. That 98 poster. Yeah, no, no, that's exactly what so I was trying good. to look for. That's what I was exactly what I was trying to look for. 98 actually. Ultimate. Damn, that is Out cool. now. <laughs> I also love, like, the poster has, like, a different art Dude, style. Dude, this has got a Neo Geo billboard. Like, the, 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 the KOF billboard, like, has a different art style, though. And, like, it reminds me of uh, Paul Robertson with all of his sprite art, which I know might be a deep cut to some people, and everyone else is like, yeah. I don't know who that is. Uh, he was really famous in, like, the mid-2000s for a lot of his sprite animations, like Flash and stuff. Oh, um, okay, And then, like, okay. Adult Swim has actually contracted him for a few commercials oh, and stuff cool. like that. Oh, cool. Okay, okay, uh, okay. He's got a really trippy but really distinct Dude, art style. I know both of us are big fans of sprite work and yeah, stuff yeah. like Pixel that. Yeah, Pixel art for it's life. Just, it's, it's so skillful, you know. On the cool. Tuesday show, I was, like, talking about that, too. Like, I was talking about... Because we were talking about E3, and I was talking about my frustration with modern gaming and stuff. And I was, like, talking about how the KOF pixel backgrounds, like, I feel like are more memorable than modern mm -hmm. backgrounds in fighting games today, you know? Well, so, like, I've, I've done really deep dives on, like, pixel art and stuff and, like, worked to, like, get better at it myself and everything. Right. Uh... And, like, at least, like, 32-bit on down. Pixel art, I've, I've realized, is basically just impressionalism. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 it's very much like that. Like, and like, if you want to get specific, maybe pointillism, but they're too connected. Yeah. So I still remember like 
20 years ago or something like I was I drew like a time it was almost like a like a in within like a 16 by 6 or 32 by 32 frame of a dollar bill and it looked amazing mm -hmm. like <laughs> yeah. and if you zoom it in it doesn't look like anything yeah, it's just a couple right? of green splotches yeah, whatever uh -huh, but, but yeah like um yes Oh, yeah. he did Scott Pilgrim versus. He did Scott the World. Pilgrim's pixel okay, art. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, good call. Um, but yeah, because it, again, it's like it's like impressionalism where you have to, you know, make this thing in a couple of dots look like something else when you're far yeah. enough away, you know, like Monet's mm -hmm. works or something like that. Yeah, I'm definitely a like I I used to try to do pixel art myself and stuff and. You know, I never really got that far into it, but especially with animation, I've never so done pixel art animation, hard. dude. And that, yeah, yeah. that. No, is... and I mean, and faces are still ludicrously difficult because you've got like six pixels to make a whole face that emotes. Right. Like, get uh, fucked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, but I mean, it, God, that'd be something that'd be fun to try one of these days, just to sit there and try to animate. Because I remember when I did Mario Paint. You know, oh, yeah. I was trying to do some stuff there, and it wasn't, like, necessarily crazy. And the legend of Fio's abs. So was she never abtastic before or Not something really. like that? She was never... No, the Metal Slug girls were never, but, like, part of it's art style. And part of it's not, but yeah, like now both Theo and Ari have like abs for days. So she was never ab fab before then, yeah. basically, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. so, like, this is basically new. Okay, okay. But I mean, all the characters got their re their designs updated mm -hmm. anyway. Because also, you got like four different art styles going on. Because look at the cut in. The cut in looks different from yeah. everything else. Mm -hmm. The cut in might not even be necessarily in game, right? It could just be a trailer or something. Okay, like as that. someone who was in the military, trust me, that's not true. What's that? In the military, of course they've got abs. No. <laughs> trust me, that's Yo. not. Yo. I have seen more horrific beer guts in the army than out. Shots fired, dude. <laughs> Grenades thrown. <laughs> yep. Then the NCOs get on a profile so they don't have to run anywhere, and it just gets worse, and they start stretching out their uniforms, and yeah, I'm calling out some of my NCOs. What? Hi. What, what did that say up there? I just wanted to see if that was any reference to anything up there. Uh, uh, what was? Oh. Nazca Supply? No. Okay. Unless that, that's a, that is something. I just uh, don't yeah, remember. I don't I just, remember. What is Nazca? Yeah, elite mercenaries, sure. Yeah, that that. <laughs> and then this. Thank you for saying it. This cool scene where you could actually combo, oh destroy the bridge, and destroy yeah. everything. Destructible under. terrain impacting the battlefield is like that. Got me more hype for anything else in the entire <laughs> game. Like, oh my god. Uh, man. There you go. Oh, was that for you who just fell off the tank? Yeah, it was. Huh? Is she supposed to be kind of like comic? Oh, that's what it is. So yeah, Nazca Lions, the South American tri lake bed art, where they are like making giant, giant oh, murals yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. like yeah. the ground. Okay, okay, dude, Cone. Like, I let me tell you. A okay, first off, I know he's smart, but did you? Are you smart or did you Google that for me? Because either option is fair. Right. I mean, either option is fair, but also, is Fio supposed to be like comic relief or something like that? I mean, it's Metal Slug. Everyone's comic relief. Oh, okay, okay. So, that's one thing. It's like, everyone is comic relief. I feel like Dead I Dead bodies are comic relief. I feel like I told this story before, but one time I visited, uh, it was one of the AGDQs, right? I think it was AGDQ. Uh, oh, he knew that offhand. Fair enough. So, AGDQ, and it was right next to where Alan lived. And so, he could actually, he, so he just took the time to drive a few, like a couple of hours mm -hmm. to come out. And we hung out after yeah. AGDQ for a little bit. We went to the Aero... Space Museum, like one, of, like one of the big ones where they just had like all the airplanes and all the old models, the space shuttle, mm -hmm. all this stuff like that, right? And uh, I walked around with Alan and I shit you not, like he told me about every plane without looking up anything. Sounds about right. We were just walking around, he's like, this is the plane that did this, and this is the one that was designed by this, and da 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 da. And I was like, I don't even need a tour guide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, and I grew up in the high desert of California, so uh -huh. I was, like, near Edwards Air Force Base. Uh -huh. We have a street named Challenger Way because the Challenger used to go down that street when it had to do an alternate landing. Right. And so when the Challenger exploded, uh -huh. they just named the street after it. Uh -huh. like, oh, uh, okay, okay. Then again, it's also worth <laughs> noting my hometown also ha now has an R. Lee Ermey Avenue. 
in memory of him. Oh, who's that? Uh, the drill instructor from Full Metal Jacket. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah he, he lived out there. Oh, okay, okay. It's funny because uh, I still remember when I did the donation readout at AGDQ, like, I never told anybody I was doing it. Uh -huh. I didn't announce it anywhere. I just showed up and just started doing it. And so one of the donations was like, is that James Chen on the thing, right? And I read it out. I was like, is that James Chen on the thing? I was like, okay. And like, <laughs> like I said that on the thing. And then another donation came in. It's like, shame on the guy for not knowing who James Chen is. And I was oh like, ah, oh, got him. <laughs> it's great, too, like, because I was watching that E. Uh -huh, I was watching uh -huh. that AGDQ. Uh -huh. And we were like... Out, we were out of town. This was before you were living. This is like we were, yeah. Uh -huh. So I was out of town and we were at a hotel room. And uh, I just tuned in. I was like, sweet, GDQ's on. Da, 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 da. That's fucking James. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just stopped dead. I was like, <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> but, anyways, um, Mighty Max, yeah, this might be like in the top three reveals of E3. Like, this I mean, like, this between be this awesome. and Advance Wars, I mean, you've got like military tactic games right. unlocked, dude. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I just want to say for the record, I'm really happy about Advance Wars because it's nice that Nintendo is going back to having a strategy RPG that isn't uh, Fire Emblem. <laughs> Are they allowed? <laughs> did they somehow break out of the Fire Emblem contract? Well, I mean, they did that, and they gave us a new Metroid. So yeah, I know, right? Who knows what Nintendo is going on? Dude, was was Reggie holding the back? <laughs> no, <laughs> Reggie is no. Uh, oh no! Yeah, no, oh, no. no, I'm not gonna say it. Oh no, I'm not gonna say it. So oh no, you really shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, 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 anyway, so um, on top of E3. Uh, mm. This weekend also was uh, Wonderfest Shanghai. Mm, yes. And uh, if you don't, if you're not familiar with Wonderfest, it is the like international statue and figure reveal convention. Like it's literally the E3 of collectibles. Okay. Like okay. for lack of a better descriptor. Okay. And um, as you've seen over the past few months, like SNK has been having a lot more statues coming out, a lot of cool shit, and. Um, Wonderfest was crazy for if you're like an SNK fan. Um, I've just been talking with this guy about something completely different yeah. now. Oh, well, he made our sweet ass banner. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, so okay. we're gonna talk about that in a moment. So don't look at Chad James because I I haven't told him about that yet. So I want him to be surprised by it. Um, but yeah, like the the level of stuff that was shown at Wonderfest is liable to make some SNK fans go bankrupt. Like, there's a oh, lot of good shit. Okay, okay. Um, and thanks to people in the region and people retweeting and stuff, I got to retweet a lot of them through the synchronized profile. So okay. we're just going to go through here and skip over random advertising. I was like, yeah. You, yeah. you retweeted uh, MMA? MMA oh, okay, now. okay. Oh, dang, okay. So, first off is this Athena. Right. So we'll do this so we can zoom in. Uh, does that? I mean, it doesn't. I feel like it doesn't look like her that much. Like I think face. it's fine, except for the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying, yeah. yeah, the face doesn't look like her as much. So, uh, so, but that one's one's kind of cool. I really like the base more than anything, like the orbs and like the, uh, the yeah, psychic yeah, yeah, energy yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. It's kind of cute. Because I know I saw the cooler one. The cooler so there, base. There's, there's two coolers. Oh, okay. there's one brand new one, one that's been revealed before. Okay. Uh, the right one here. yeah keep going and we're just there we go oh, okay so this is my that looks like she's based on her crossover in a senran kagura i don't know if that's intentional uh, but that's okay. what it really looks like right i'm pretty sure that's the senran kagura artist one way or another i mean again just just in terms of design wise here what's really cool about this is i love the fact that she's actually floating but you know, is is being floated by the the, the, the aura things, yeah. right? It's a oh, it's they, there's also there's this one there, peg. just a thing, yeah. just to make but sure. But in all fairness, this is the early prototype. Who knows if they're going to refine it? Right, exactly. But it's still very cool looking, though. Yeah, I mean, it's nice, nice design wise. Yeah, I mean, that's not one that interests me. Like, yeah, again, it's it's not quite my flavor. Right. But then you know, when we get to the cool, uh, it's weird because like, I I I'm obsessed with like not realism in my games right but then when it comes to like figures like when they look real like there's something about i like them looking well, more the thing is like there's a fine line because because like 
realistic ish. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Comic book uh, is great, uh, but then uh, you, like if you approach the uncanny valley, then it gets like really disturbing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh, that's kind of neat. So this one's interesting. It's a little more like borderline porcelain doll ish, which I think is kind of acceptable. Right. I'm just trying to figure out: is this just a background that that's just like sitting there? It looks like. Because I'm not sure if these clouds are part of the figure or if the clouds are, are are on the are, are like on this backdrop over here. Or the backdrop might be part of the base. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess it needs more photos. Or I mean, isn't there? There's a drawing here. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't and know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's probably so. a moon that's backing it, and the moon yeah. actually has the clouds or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's <clears throat> Nako. So oh. this is the cool of it. I like, oh, okay, even if okay. she's got like the creepy level of childlike face, I think that's okay because it's cooler. It's just kind of what she's always been. Yeah, it's it's cool. But I mean, the problem is like they gave her some massive ass over here, and you know, just for a sixteen-year-old, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable with that, or a fourteen-year-old, or, or whatever. whatever she is. Yeah, but the base is fucking amazing. Yeah, I really like the base, and I really like the posing because it's actually like leaning into like her surfing mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or like mm -hmm. ice skating kind of thing. She always been a fan of lollipops. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. She is obsessed with sweets. So she's 14, okay. Yeah, yeah. but in all fairness, 14 for 20 years now. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, I, the thing is, like, that's the only Kula I know of where she's actually doing something instead of just standing there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's fair. And that's, that's like fair. a big selling point. Jesus, there are so many ads on yeah, this. Yeah, welcome to Twitter okay. these days. Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, just wait. Oh, he glows in the dark. The glowing riot Yori is fucking fire. Yo, okay, okay. And this one, like, looks like it might be out, or at least it's ready, like, starting to deliver. But, yeah, it's so cool. Like, I don't care who you are, that one's badass. <laughs> That's just nice. It's just a nice thing to have, you know? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't even to say anything on this one. You're just like I just yeah. I just saw the background and I immediately like okay. So I was talking with Kitty about this. Like one thing we're noticing is a lot of the, the Chinese studios uh -huh. tend to really go in on the base yeah. and like the backdrop and everything. Like sometimes, you know, like, oh well we're we're struggling with the face on the statue, but you know what? We put an extra like thousand dollars into her base, so it's fine. Dude, this is... This and look at that how. Whoa! <laughs> Yo! Yeah, kind of waiting for that one. Yo! Mm. It's so All cool. right, I'm killing the stream right now. We're not scrolling anymore. <laughs> We're not looking at any... And it's not even the only one there. Like, there's another post with others. Can you imagine if they made a Genjuro with an uppercut and you could actually see the art in it? Oh my god, that would be so Could cool. Could you imagine if they, like, painted the art in there Are you somehow? kidding me? Now I want to, like, go get transparency paper and just line it against it. Yeah, uh-huh, exactly, dude. Dude, that Haumaru is so sick. Oh my god, I'm so mad right now. I am very, very upset. Oh, look at this it's thing, so dude. cool. This is so... See, this is the kind of shit that I want for Johnny. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I could get a Johnny doing something like this, where his blade has a swish on it, on everything, and like, oh, dear God. Like, this is the kind of figures that I've been looking for forever. You know what I mean? And that's kind of why I like this Nako figure mm -hmm. as well, because the Nako figure is also, it's just Nako. It's not like, here's your waifu Nako. Yeah. It's... Look, this is just it's the character one of the Nakaruru characters. Yeah, doing. yeah. Uh -huh. and, and it's all diorama ish. And, and look at this beautiful background. Like this is amazing. Like I have uh, an uh, I have an Amaterasu right mm -hmm. for that same reason because it's just beautiful looking. Mm -hmm. You know, like this. Oh god, these Samurai Showdown ones are amazing. Dude, not just James. I've been really sitting here struggling on whether I want to buy a three D printer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm bankrupt myself on the materials. Yeah, like I would just I like these these figures like mm -hmm. if there's more Samurai Showdown figures that you're telling me about here then yeah I don't I'm scared to continue scrolling at this well, point. Well you're gonna I, continue scrolling. <sighs> oh 
Okay. Okay, so that's the oh. other cola. See, I think this base is neat. I, I, like, I like. I also like the her hand has the effect. Yeah. But again, I still like the other one being the ice stone. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. This yeah. is like I'm gonna kill you. I'm charging my laser or whatever. Mm. It's cool. It's really nice. And I think overall she probably looks better. But I just love the posing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for me, I love action poses for this. That's mm -hmm. why. So also, you know, Kitty. Yeah. If they ever make a Darley in that set, we're both in joint. Yeah, horrible no, trouble. Right. Because honestly, like this is exactly like the kind of thing that I want. This is out your of jam. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of what I want. Well, I mean, out of so my that's figures. why you liked the Cami from PCS because she's dive kicking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. And that's I guess that's kind of why I don't like. A lot of the figures that are just like, oh, I'm just like, yeah. let me be waifu status yeah. no, here. No, Jerry definitely does some good work, so. Yeah, and so this one, this is cool. I'm all, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, I love how you apologize for that one only because you didn't mean to do it. Yeah, if it was intentional, uh -huh. you would have been like, yeah. ah! I mean, if it was intentional, it would have been too obvious to make anyway, mm. so, but, you know. Uh, all right. <sighs> My Kula puns would be more ice than that, so <laughs> didn't quite work out. No, that one didn't work. work out. Okay. I mean, if you'd done like icer, yeah, I icer, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So now we've got the same freaking studio of the Sam Show ones doing little Kyo versus Iori dioramas <laughs> with, with, with decapitated heads, with little chibi. Dude, they've decapitated them. I don't know. That looks kind of creepy to me. They're chibis. I think I think they're just minifigs uh, and then like on fire, yeah, but I think they might uh, be busts. I can't really tell. But I wanted to say ice like that. I think that's what I wanted to mm. say, and that's what didn't come out. Anyway, yeah, okay, like, the Kyo one looks good, the Yori one looks a little weird. <laughs> it just looks really funny because they're just like but the background is sick. Yeah. I just realized what the, the, the background the is. Background. Yeah, I just realized what the sick. background was. That's cool. Okay, okay. Oh, it actually has his name over here. Mm -hmm. Yori Yagami. Where's Kyo's name, dude? Uh, probably behind him on the plate. Oh, or yeah. it's hidden behind Kyo's head. Or something like wow. that, yeah. But that's really cool. That is neat. Yeah, it's pretty stylish. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the thing is, though, is, I mean, I think that's just a card for the background, so it's, like, not critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because yeah, I got uh, the uh, the big boys toys of the, like, Street Fighter figures and stuff, mm -hmm. and it's just, like, a card you throw in. And there's a Kyo doing the Orochinagi for those. It's a card you throw in. Right. The and same year, they had, like, a special Evo ones. Yeah. You know what the cool thing is? You could literally just print out whatever you want as the background yeah. there. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. Yeah, promoting so. the dioramas. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Dude, Get that, that the would mini be amazing. With, with the, that you want to play some KOF? Yeah, exactly. Uh, there you go. There you go. Get I that. mean, it would be so good if like some someone with the license or SNK leaned into it and just made more. Right. I, I do know that SNK actually had um, for the Kyo anniversary uh -huh. like collab thing they did at the beginning of the year. One of the blind boxes was that picture. I got <laughs> real excited. <laughs> So is this uh, is this the same company that did the uh, 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 scroll up real quick? The Kula, basically. Uh, no, no, it is not. This is a different company. So this is a new one fourth scale line, and it's uh, it's pretty nice. Yeah. It's pretty nice. And what I like about it again, it's more, it's kind of like more tasteful. Yeah. Know? I mean, it's it's my. She's gonna be sexy no matter what. Yeah. But, but she's, she's being she's a little more glamorous than you. She's are. majestic in this, yeah. you know. What I mean. Now I know she's supposed to be kind of a goofball, but still, you know, it's it's a neat design. Yeah. This would be the kind of design that I could kind of put out and just be okay. You know, like, <laughs> I still remember I had an HOA meeting. I think I told you this, right? Because I had my figures all sitting there on the table over there, and our, our neighbor in F actually sat right next to the Felicia statue, and I was just like, she is probably so freaked out by this right now. She is probably so weirded Freaking out by normies. this. Freaking <laughs> It's like this half naked cat girl in gigantic size oh, size over here. Oh man. Oh look at this. Okay. Ooh. Is that Ukio back there? Or uh yeah. yes. Yeah, Ukio on a rock and then the Mina. Where's Mina? Am I missing something here? 
This is yeah, a, oh yeah, sorry. No, I thought there I thought there was a Mina, but it's not this picture. Okay, so it's Nako. No, that's Nako. Yeah. Okay. I was Don't like, worry. No, no. This I was is, like, this is me not seeing things properly. <laughs> I was like, but, uh, has my S and K knowledge? Gone? No, no, no. This is this is all me being blind. Okay, Don't worry. okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But okay, so I need to find that. I I swore there was a Mina. Oh, I'm sure too, there but, is. I'm sure yeah, there the, is. Uh, yeah, the ukyo is pretty rad. That ukyo. So this is these are. This ukyo might, but these are a different line then, right? Because this is not the Chinese one with the nako with the crazy background over there and the haumaru. So Viparas, uh, funny you should mention that. There's a resin kit for it. For which one? Vanessa in the middle of her like big ass super. Oh. By my favorite sculptor. <laughs> and it's this amazing piece, but it's only in a resin kit. So okay, okay. You know, and okay. here we have this. Life size? One to one scale. Do we have a picture? We don't have a picture for scale then, do we? No, but like, it tells you she's 210 centimeters tall. It's just shy of seven feet. Complete with the base. This thing is going to be like... Uh, $7,000. $7,000. More pro oh, is that what it costs? Is that actually what it costs? Yeah, that's, that's what that's what its base converted price tag is. That's actually less than I expected. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's not, that's not counting shipping, in all fairness. <laughs> yeah, put that in the HOA meeting. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, she's about seven feet tall and about seven thousand dollars, not counting shipping. You know what the craziest thing about this? If they made a thousand of these things, this thing is gonna sell out so 200 fast. 200 of them, 200, it's gonna sell out so fast. There are going to be people who want to have the life size. Are you Mai kidding me? Like I, 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 I'm not even the biggest my fan. I'm like, you know what? I want to have like a mansion and put that in the entryway instead of a fountain. Oh god, that'd be so. <laughs> yeah. uh, like how stylish would that be? Like you know, come, come into the atrium and then just. <laughs> oh man! Get like a stereo system just playing all her themes throughout history. See, now all I want to do is have a life-size statue of, not Morrigan, but her bat chair. So I could sit in mm -hmm. the bat chair. <laughs> I mean, I'm waiting I'm waiting for SMK to do, like, this $30,000 geese, geese chair. Geese throne, yeah. yeah. I mean, oh they, I, I did like that he did the, the folding chair, and that was, like, really cool. Uh -huh, but, uh -huh. yeah, like, give us, like, the royalty throne. Uh, uh, it's man. way too much. I mean, like, this thing, uh, it's just, like... I'm, I just don't want to think about... Oh, apparently, they're already completely sold out at this point. They're already sold out. There you go. I told you that thing was mm -hmm. going to sell out. Yeah, like, and it came out, what, like three, four days ago? This is if this that. is the lesson that people need to learn, right? Kickstarter has taught us one thing, is that people will spend the money, if they have it, for stuff that they really like, right? Yes. This is the lesson that Mark Mann told Mad Cats which was known for making nothing but really cheap peripherals. And he was like, let's make an arcade stick that's $180. And everybody was like, you are nuts. No one will buy that. And he's like, all right. So he finagled the deal that they would make the SE stick, which was the $80 cheap water. Was it even 80 Oh, you're it was right. Like it, was like, it was like 60 and then the, the, the TE was like 120 or something mm -hmm. like that. And so they made the cheaper one because Mad Cats was confident that the cheaper one would go for more. And then we and then we found out it broke down within two weeks. Yeah, and very, very few people bought it anyway. And they all bought the TE and Mad Cats was like, wait, you mean if we make quality stuff and charge a lot, people will actually buy it? <laughs> Customers, <laughs> return customers, word of mouth. What is this? Yeah, uh huh. Dude, exactly. I remember like when Mad Cats first turned around. I actually talked to Mark Man mm -hmm. at Evo. I was like, "All right, so what happened?" <laughs> because you know, growing up, I couldn't trust Mad Cats with a game case for fear it would say, erase my data, and right. it was just a clear piece of plastic. Right. And then suddenly, you're making good things. Like, what? What happened? Yeah, and he's I, like. I, uh, a little bit of change in management. I was like, good. Because <laughs> the craziest thing is, after Mark Man got to Mad Cats, and Mad Cats started releasing things like Razor Mice and stuff like that. I mean, not Razor... I think it was called the Razor Mouse, wasn't it? Or something like that. But in any case, they started releasing all the high quality... Mad Cats actually started getting the reputation of having quality stuff. And, like, when I told people who got into the FGC later that Mad Cats used to be known for being the abs... Like, they were Pelican level. You know what I mean? And they were like, 
I don't know. I think they were worse. Yeah, uh huh. They were like the they, only way you were getting any worse than them was like Nyko, maybe. Yeah, or just maybe. or weird Taiwanese company you've never heard of, right? That doesn't have any English on the box randomly. Um, yeah, no. Pelican no, had a couple of good things. Mad like, Cats PDT was okay. Yeah, Mad Cats was literally like the bottom of the barrel, mm-hmm. like. I mean, th- this is what they call the the poor people tax, right? I mean, this is the whole complaint about that too, yeah, right? Poverty traps, right? Like when every everybody's like, all the rich people are like, well, this is your fault for buying this cheap thing or whatever, like this, instead of investing in the expensive. We can't afford the good stuff, you know what I mean? You have to buy the cheap yeah. thing because you need it now. It's the only one you can afford, and yes, it breaks down, so you spend more money across time, but uh-huh. you need it now. Uh-huh. Yeah, and and that's basically what Mad Cats was banking off of, you know, that kind of market. And uh, they had a really terrible reputation, Mm -hmm. honestly, so. Yeah, I mean, because all you need to do, like, when you're making products like that, all you need to do is fool someone once. Right, exactly. You know, and you can get enough money just fooling everyone once. And that's what I used to get mad at the guy, the the new manager at. uh, Oh, this is this is more of a social media network. Oh yeah, but actually, there's a post right there. Uh, this one here. Yeah, try that. See oh, but there's, there's no, helpful. there's no like size compare. I just want to see someone stand. It's just like ass. Okay, Why not? Yeah, I just want to see a picture of someone standing next to it. I guess is all I. I don't know if they have a fully assembled display yet. Oh, uh, that's probably true too. Yeah, that's probably true too. Yeah, because it's also like again, it's seven feet tall. Mm-hmm. It's not shipping in one piece. Yeah, it is going to be something you probably have to assemble. Right. And, and like when. The new manager at the UCLA Arcade, the college campus arcade, and I know I've talked to you about it, I think I've talked to this stream about it before. You know, the new manager was like, we're not making as much money. So he was the one who set House of the Dead to like a dollar to start, 75 cents to continue, hard difficulty, only three health when you start and everything. And I looked at him and was like, what the hell are you doing? I was like, we're a college campus. We are not banking on first time customers we're baking on repeat customers i was like if you made it a dollar start to 50 cents to continue you would have a higher chance of getting two dollars than a dollar 75 right i was like and then you basically it was a rule if an employee changed the settings of a game they would without permission they could be fired Mm-hmm. And uh, this was after I had graduated already. I, I was working at the UCLA Arcade even after I graduated. I'm still not sure how that worked, to be honest with you, but I did that for a little bit. Uh, I was like, I don't really care. <laughs> and I changed the settings. I gave him extra health. I lowered the difficulty. I changed the blood to red. And I was like, whatever. I was like, more people will play it this way. And it's just like... It's- and I guarantee you're right. Because like, like growing up poor... Yeah. If I walk into an arcade and I see a game I love uh-huh. and I see it a dollar and I see that I, and I know for a fact I've seen it anywhere else for anything less, I'm not going to play it at all. Yeah, uh-huh. Like dollar to start, get fucked. Dude, I'm going to play something else. Like at best. I played Dragon's Lair during the t- you know when it was mm. popular, I was really into the game and I played it a lot and I would play it multiple times. Yeah. We went to a Chuck E. Cheese one time and I still remember this. Me and my brother were like, "Oh, let's go play Dragon's Lair. Let's go play Dragon's." Lair. We played Dragon's Lair and partway through the match it was said, "Put 50 more cents into continue." I didn't even yeah, know that's video time ga- limit. I didn't even know video games could do that shit, right? And me and my brother looked at it and we were like, we just walked away. Yeah. You know, had they not done that, we might have beaten it and then just played it and beaten it again and played it and beaten it. Dude, like, yeah. it was the... I just... I couldn't believe it. Yeah. No. I couldn't... But we could go all yeah, day yeah. about business practices. So let's go a little further. I don't know if there's anything else, but... Ooh. So these are the acrylic stands from the uh, People of Orochi mm-hmm. from the, the bar pop-up thing. Right, yeah. Um, and then... Ooh, there's an art book. The art book... <laughs> people enjoying that trailer yeah there's a trailer um, and I think that's it yeah, that's that it. was We're last week um, oh and shout outs to uh, Nyato Burrito again for more artwork again Nyato got her Yamazaki shipment 
Oh my god. Oh, the like, one that you yeah, got. She just, yeah, she's got a video yeah. of, like, she ripped open her delivery and it's like, oh my god, oh my god, god damn, god damn. And it's like this pile of Yamazaki. <laughs> That's so great. That's so awesome, dude. Oh, man. Um, Did I die on purpose to get the high score? Yes. On the last move, every single time, I would get to the very last stage with all my lives, die on the last move because it was the longest stage. You got the most points. So you'd go back to the beginning, do that, die on the last move, die on the last move. Nerds. I Casey had batted it. And, you know, I didn't flub it. You know, I would do it. And I used to do that at the arcade in Redlands, across, in the Redlands Mall. And that was me on the stool. Like, I was the little kid carrying around the stool. And I put it on the floor. And so there would be this crowd of people. Like, mm -hmm. there's this little oh, you kid. Have, you have told the yeah, stories. Yeah, uh-huh. Gameplay stops was two thirds away to the dragon. Yeah, at this time the player must deposit more money if he wishes to continue. After acquired of money is deposited, play resumes for the interrupt. The player has less than three dirks at the point that he receives one additional dirk when play resumes. In this option, the game ends when the player finishes the dragon's layer sequence. Jesus. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got Amakusa in there already. Nice. Amakusa. That's nice. I almost made it just the orb. <laughs> But then I was that like, would have been eh. hilarious, actually. It would have been amusing, but yeah. then it also would have just looked really awkward. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you uh, go. So, cool WonderCon. Dude. Like, I... WonderFest. WonderFest, sorry. Yeah, WonderFest Shanghai. WonderCon is a completely different thing. Very right? different. So, yeah. Uh, I can't get over this shit right <laughs> here, dude. This... Like, the, the fact that it's this is the sword swing, and it frames the statue mm -hmm. so beautiful. Like, this... Oh, God, this oh. is just... I want to go back, actually back to the uh, the Gigantomai. Because I kind of want to, like, point out some things with it compared to, like, a lot of other Mai statues as well. Because me and Kitty have been talking about it at great lengths. Hallmar what? 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 Hallmar what? <laughs> All right, I'll just talk about it without visual no, no, aids. Yeah, Thank okay, you. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, Kitty Kitty really cares a lot about Mai. Yeah, 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 of course. So, of course. Um, That's her first cosplay, right? So, so me and Kitty both really dislike a lot of my figures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And moreover, she fucking hates some of the my figures. Yeah, 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 because yeah, they take uh -huh. way too many like artistic liberties. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, you know, the thing is that, I mean, let's just point this out real quick. Her hair is brown. Right, okay. There's okay. a lot of figures that give her black hair, and a lot of mm. artwork that gives her black hair. Why? <laughs> because reasons. Right. Or, you know, you get figures that are much more of the doujinshi flavor than the in-game flavor. Mm. So her chest is entirely too big for right. no reason. Mm -hmm. And... And I mean, just look, she's beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, she's got a lot more of that, like, stylized look rather than, you know, just anime or 12-year-old right. or any of that. You know, I mean, she that's what she I was, look like the Kula. Like, that's what I was saying. I kind of like, that's why I like this statue, too, right? Because it's a little more just, like, it's less exploitative, I yeah. guess it is. So, I mean, it's still Mai. Mai is going to be Mai, right? She's going to be TNA to the max, but still. Yeah. No, this big, giant Mai is actually really really good yeah. like i i wouldn't even be against if i could get this statue just in a smaller size right mm -hmm. because it's actually just really fucking good and i'm i'm a big fan of like voting with my buck if yeah. i see good work i'd rather pay for that than you know just accepting things right oh dang look at the fan too mm -hmm. the fan is really nicely done that's cool Oh, dude, even the string from her arm, from her hand guards. Oh, this thing right here, you mean? No, no, that's from the back oh. of her fan. So follow the hand guard to the tie around the middle finger. And it's actually oh, a unique Oh, this, piece. this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that's a separate okay, piece. Okay, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. No, it's a, definitely a nicely done, uh, yeah. nicely done figure there, so... But yeah, I, I can't get over this thing, dude. And and to be honest with you, the Nako is oh, beautiful. And Kitty well. wants me to also point out the fact that her lipstick isn't like blood red and like kind of oh, trampy. Yeah, that it's actually yeah, lighter yeah, pink yeah. and a little, mm -hmm. like classier and cuter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so but, yeah, like but, so actually, Kitty's exact words. She wanted me to quote her on this. Okay. There are too many pictures of Mai and statues of Mai where it looks more like 
a girl wearing Mai's clothing, like almost like a cosplay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one actually feels like it's Mai. Right, okay. That makes a lot of sense, actually. But And like like this Nako kind of probably fits under that thing. It feels like Nakoruru rather than some girl wearing her clothing. Right, exactly. Which is where a lot of artwork goes to, right? Yes. It does, like, it doesn't matter who, what the girl, it's just the costume, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, but no, this, this, can, this is, I, like, this is respectable. That's, you, like, a good word for it. It's, like, this is a respectable Nakaru. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's, that's, that's why... Yeah, it's, I, like, DOA my. That's why I like this Nako so much. And can you imagine if they did a Jubei at the end of his he heavy uppercut? That'd like, he's sick. just floating up there, and is, you, you can turn it around and see the front of him okay. from that. Like Now I want a half a Basara statue, because I want him sinking into the table. Dude, that'd be sick! <laughs> That'd be sick. And then they should come out with another piece of it, which is just the blade coming out of the ground, and that you could just put anywhere you want. <laughs> yeah, no, now I now, now that's what I want him actually shoving the blade into the ground. Yeah, and it's got the puddle around uh, him. Uh, uh, and then a second piece, I can put it anywhere. Dude, fuck that. Just make it like bookends. Dude. Like anybody is, has books anymore, but Right. Well <laughs> movie uh, but people go digital now, that's right, yeah. But still, case case made, I think that would be sick. Uh, and frankly, yeah, yeah, and frankly, I mean, I think bookends would work, right? Because if they were expensive, it's going to be older people who do own some books or DVDs or Blu-rays and stuff like that. So, uh, but God, <laughs> yeah, just manga bookends. Like if they made a Jubei, if they made a Kyoshiro, like oh God, it'd be Kyoshitora so with his eighth Kyoshitora, sword. Uh, with his eighth sword, yeah, I would add the sword. <laughs> I would buy a separate sword to add it, and I would just tape James on it, mm -hmm. basically, yeah. <laughs> Give him the Sword of Omens from Thundercats. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah. Um, okay, so we've got Can five you... minutes until 7 p.m. to see if we have any news. Right. Um... Then we've got one thing that Charlotte I want to cool give a bit of a shout-out to before we go back to following up next week's stuff. Okay, sure. Uh, wait, so you want to just, uh, wait five minutes to see what happens here? Yo, Yoshitora kitchen knife holder. <laughs> That's so sick. That would be hilarious. Especially because you could make it completely wrong in the scale. Like, it'd be like a 12-inch figure, and he's like this. Uh -huh. And then you've got a full-size knife rack. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that would be amazing. <laughs> I actually, I kind of want that now. <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, though, I, I actually would really like an Eero High in this set. Like, besides mm. the fact that obviously I'm going to want Darley first and foremost. Right. Uh -huh. I think an Iroha would actually be cool in this set because with the level of, like, detail and action poses they're willing to give characters, mm -hmm. like, having her do her crazy backflip or something would actually be kind of yeah. awesome. I just want to, let's have an Ukiyo who's doing the apple slicer thing and just have... Oh, like, he's going to be tsubame You know that. It's going to be tsubame <laughs> No, because then you have, like, the huge fire arc. Yeah, I know. God I just sick. want pieces of apples everywhere, that's all, so... I mean, maybe you can have, maybe you can have both. There's little bits of apple on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Along with the blood splatters. Oh, man. No, but this Haomaru is amazing. I love this thing. I'm scared to know how much these things are going to cost. Honestly, those ones probably no more than, like, 600 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know, like, it's still yeah. a big number, but, I mean, the one-fourth scale Blue Mary was about seven or 800 right. so. Which, by the way, they're actually, um, they re they showed that at the show, so someone got, like, a, like footage of them walking around the display for it, oh, so I'm pretty dang. happy. okay, okay, okay. So, uh... Yeah, like I said, back in my programmer days, maybe, yeah. I would pick a couple, I mean, I would have also bought that lego typewriter that i tweeted about yesterday i don't know if you saw that i didn't see that one but i know you would have gotten like the lego nes oh yeah lego i NES, wanted that dude. That, was just, that was a little too rich for my blood dude i need to show you this lego typewriter dude like i know this is completely off topic but that's what we do here so uh, that's what you do here it's fine <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't don't lump me into this you make it sound like a bad thing <laughs> I mean, when you blow an hour talking about Transformers by Michael Bay. <laughs> you make it sound like a bad thing. Dude. It is. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Let's see here. This is the Lego typewriter, dude. Although, in all fairness, the subtitle of the Ink Ribbon to Save Your Game was pretty good yeah. touch.
That's pretty cool. Right? <laughs> this one you can't blame me for, for being a little hype about. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm totally down for Lego time. Oh, look at this. This is still here. That's weird. All right, though. T minus one minute. <laughs> Fucking SNK Dan. No KOF <laughs> yeah, trailer no, no, today. No, the, 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 um, which one was would be $200? Or the oh, Lego? Oh, yeah, no, they're going to be way more than $200. The Lego thing? No, oh, the, the, uh, the, like, Haomaru. Oh, no, the Haomaru one? Yo. Yeah. SNK Dan. No KOF trailer today because SNK is working extra hard on Kim's pants, right? <laughs> no, they're working that hard on Mary's abs, please. No, they're not. Yeah. <laughs> They don't even need to work that hard. I'm telling you, like, everything I want can be done in a day. Dude, I mean, they just need to copy and paste, you know, freaking Leona and just, like, throw it in there, right? Yeah, I, just, uh, just crop the, t the bump yeah, map in, good to go. Yeah, exactly, dude. It's not no, it doesn't solve the noodle arms. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Well, then they just need to cr take Luang's arms and throw At them off. At this rate, yeah. Dude, Luang even got that that oh, okay, I'm Are you sorry. trying to make me No, mad? no, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying be in solidarity with you. Yeah, I'm being in solidarity with you here. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm trying not to like make that my entire personality. <laughs> you know. See, this is what happens when I move my keyboard away from that spot. Is this this I mean, I'm, right now I'm glad there's no trailer because I'd be mad at him. Yeah. Because I can't see shit. Yeah, there's a cat literally sitting in front of the monitor right now. Because they know this is the direction I'm looking in all the time. So they just come and stand okay. here. So it looks like there's nothing at all. Yeah. It nothing look like at all. There's going to be a reveal or anything like that. So. Yeah. Because uh, I haven't received any notifications. All right. Well, no worries. I mean, they're busy people. They're trying to do their thing, yeah. so it's all good. And they gave us warning, too. Yeah. They did give us warning. Yeah. I mean, it's still, like, I mean, there's a little bit of a sting with the, like, at, at T minus zero, an announcement of an announcement of a nope. Like, <laughs> you know, if you get, they're going to be. What do you mean at T minus zero? Like, like, literally at the 7 p.m., like, hey, nothing. What would you want? I mean, like, like you could do it like Monday. Just be like, hey, there's oh, not going to be a silhouette tomorrow. Right, there's no yeah. trailer this week. I see what you're saying. I but see it's what like, you're saying. I'm all, I'm all excited. Like Tuesday, you're 7 talking PM. about the, you're talking about the T minus to the silhouette. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. When the silhouette would drop, gotcha, it's gotcha, Like yeah. I'm sitting there, you know, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Like, oh boy, I wonder what it's going to be. Disappointment. Like, I mean, I, I like the transparency instead of just complete radio silence. Right, yeah. But I, I wouldn't mind, you know, not waiting at my computer at 7 p.m. to be like, nope. Mm -hmm. But at least we know for a fact we're getting a character next week, so we take that. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, a little bit earlier this week, um, might have even been yesterday, actually. Yes, it was yesterday. Um, we were sent by Kenny Riot a video to... Oh, Kenny Riot, nice. Okay. He, he shared a video with us. Uh, this guy, Joe D, has a series on YouTube called Same Name, Different Game. Okay. And, uh, it's a series where basically he just talks about the same re-release of any given game. Like... Oh, here's, you know, the PlayStation version of Symphony of the Night, and then here's the Saturn version, and then here's the PSP oh, okay, re-release, okay. and here's the 360. Literally same game. The same game, but yeah. all its different re-releases and what's right. changed okay. and all that. Okay. And uh, I was like, this is really cool, but the one he released yesterday that was linked to us, he did KOF 98. Ooh, okay, okay. And so he talked about the original release, the Japanese PlayStation release, the Dreamcast release, and then, like, 98 UM. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is fucking cool. I'm enjoying this. And while I like the video, and I recommend you guys go check it out, go check out the series, it's cool. He pointed out something that we hadn't caught or noticed yet, and it ties into our discussion from last week about right. stages. And by the way, I Ramathal, if you want to catch up on KOF lore, there's a, a Shoryu game. Shoryu game. Show you game or Tanzong, right? Tanzong has yeah, the... both yeah. actually. <laughs> Tanzong for the quick and dirty, yeah, you know, cute, funny cliff notes, right? Um, but Tan, uh, but uh, Show you game is really good for like the 
just general like breakdown of like characters or arcs and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. No, honestly, show you game is the is the serious answer. Tanzong is go watch the show you game stuff first, then go watch the Tanzong stuff because then you, you, you'll, you'll get, get all the jokes, the jokes. You'll get yeah. all the jokes and stuff like that. Um, and now Jasmine comes and walks into that spot. <sighs> so anyways, the guy's video um, talks about a lot of the stage backgrounds and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you remember last week we were talking about all the different stages. We got to 98 stage right. with the uh, the American sports team, New York's one, and, and we, we saw the tw the Twin Towers in the background. Yes. Which uh, 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 chat was so kind to point out to us. Thank you, Kitty. Um, <laughs> she gave me shit for it because I was like, hey, remember we were talking about that? And she's like, anyway. <laughs> so apparently in 98 UM, they pulled the Twin Towers out of the stage. Oh, really? Okay. I okay. guess, you know, I mean, because it's like, yeah, the game takes place in 98, sure, but... I guess it's a matter of like respect slash yeah, airing on the side of caution. Yeah, you want to be safe. I think I think that's the right answer. To be honest with you. Yeah. So I mean, I just found it really fascinating that like that that was a detail that was in there after we only noticed it for the first time right, last week yeah, that the, yeah, they were yeah. even there. Now, where is this? You said uh, where? Let me see if I, you did he. I, uh, well, he tagged synchronized with it. Right. So, so um, I'll just I'll just DM you the Twitter link real quick. And well, did you retweet it? Uh, I retweeted our tagging and commented to it, so yeah, it was one day ago, so it's gonna be basically just before any of the, uh, right. Let's see. statue stuff, I think, maybe, I don't know, I'm just gonna look, I'll look at it myself. Yeah, no problem. Because now I'm... Because I just want to put the link in, oh, here we go. Oh, it's, a, yeah, it was super early, actually. Uh, I thought that was it, no, that was No, not. you can go, scroll back, go back to the top. Keep going. All the way back up. Oh, all the way back. All up. the way back up. Right there. Oh, here we go. That's this it. one here. Okay, yeah. okay. Here, what I'm gonna do is uh, post this in the chat. That's all. So there you go. Here you go. So you guys can check this out um, and uh, click on that link and watch that video. So it's cool. Let's see. Uh, let me see how long this is. Oh, it's just a little ten-minute video, so yeah. very easy. There you go. Yeah. So cool. yeah, go give it a watch. It's kind of interesting, you know. And then you know, maybe check out the rest of his channel because um, I watched a couple of the videos. I was like, this is a neat little series. I like this. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, ha having the ability to get that much information on like video game history and stuff like that and that, yeah. that kind of thing is always fascinating too because there was even one website out there that used to always uh you know list all the differences between the american and the japanese versions Oof. of games and it was actually really cool that sounds awful to try to do because <laughs> I mean, like you have did, to know like both games really yeah. well i mean he did final fantasy games and even talked about all the dialogue changes and everything and like the, the, the meaning the tone behind the changes and stuff it was I mean, pretty crazy i mean like i played a, a strategy rpg that because of the way the american version had to be released uh it was kind of awkward and insufferable. Mm. Like, it's a character, like, who works for the church, and you have, like, priests and nuns, <laughs> and what do they do? They cut every cross out of it. Right. Because yeah. you gotta be sensitive. I or, mean, like, that... one of the characters is a smoker, and they cut out his smoke and, like, a cigarette, so he's just like this half the fucking game. <laughs> He's just standing there. I mean, Simon's Quest, they cut out all the crosses. You remember Final Fantasy IV as two out here in the U.S., you know, when they went go to Mesidia, they're always like, we have to wish for this to happen. Instead we have to wish for this to happen. We will now wish for this to happen. You know, it was just like, okay, okay. We get it. He's yeah. consistently shocked. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I feel bad because, like, the guys who had to publish it in the States, because uh, they were the only ones who were willing to, right. were a really small company, so they mm -hmm. had to... And they admitted, like, look, I know it sucks, right. but we're really small, so we have we, we can't afford a lawsuit. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. actually cheaper for us to cut this crap out uh, than to lose a lawsuit. Yeah, I remember because, you know, I knew someone who worked at Exceed before, and I used to hear all the trials and tribulations of having to go through a lot of the localizations and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, localizations, and, hell. Yeah, and you have to account for so many things that you're most people aren't aware of oh, yeah. you know no, so. I've, I've worked in localization like at a localization publisher mm -hmm. and i worked on multi-language support when i was at activision mm -hmm. so i had to like 
Trust me, there is no Circle of Hell more awkward than playing a Call of Duty game and trying to figure out the German release. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, even still, though, I mean, most of like, like, what, like, what, what things did you have to think about? You know, it's a World War Two game, right? Releasing in Germany, right? But and you're fighting Nazis, and you're not allowed to have swastikas in the game. Oh, have they just outlawed? Yes. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that that was just completely outlawed. Yep. Um, blood and gore okay. have to be tuned down. Okay, okay. Swastikas cannot be present at all whatsoever in any media, period. Right. Uh, and there's a bunch of others. But those, like, like, those offhand right. were like some of the things we had to go yeah, through. Yeah, it's different than what I was expecting. Because, I mean, the, the thing is, when I was in Germany recently, actually, you know, they're not afraid to talk about it. That, like it's it's everywhere right they, they, it's every like they it's the, the presence of yeah. it is there so you don't forget the history yeah, yeah, you know right. they, I mean? they don't they don't deny that it happened but right. you can't release new media right yeah with yeah, those, yeah, yeah, yeah with yeah, that yeah. image mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay that makes sense that makes sense to me yeah rebel yeah. army x yeah <laughs> perfect or whatever that uh symbol was in the music video that you just showed oh, me yeah, recently. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Disturbed's cover of Land of Confusion. Yeah, they yeah, had, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. a dollar uh, uh, sign uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. stylized to look kind of like a swastika. <laughs> yep, exactly that, so. <sighs> okay. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, yeah so, uh, yeah, no, localization, especially, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> multinational localization, is bonkers. Yeah. No, thanks to Nothing Excess for my new Lucia emotes right there. Fair they enough. gifted those to me, so there you go. Hi, Jasmine. Oh, man, I gotta imagine that Saints Row must have been hard to release anywhere then. Why? <laughs> which, for, to which comments? I did, uh, oh, the okay, okay, comments. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, good old Saints Row. That's a game that happened. Or a franchise, really. Anyway, so um, piggybacking off the thing that I was just talking about, um, we can go and continue the stages. So yes. um, we will be going back to Fighters Generation because that's one of the easiest ways to see all the stages. Well, most of them, most or, of them. Or most of the stages yeah. in a well sorted manner. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. thanks to Fighters Generation yeah, we, for existing. We finished off of 99 last time. Yeah. So now we are in 2000 with that, <laughs> with one this. of the better pictures of Mary. That is a really screen. good. That is a good picture of her. Yeah, yeah that's cool. I, I, I admittedly still have a big soft spot for the 99 one, but um, the 2000 one's really good. And one of my friends actually argues with me he prefers 2000s. 99 is where K first showed K dash first showed up. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah, aquarium. Oh, yeah. I've seen this stage a bunch of times. I yeah, think. so this stage was also, besides being, like, in a couple of things and a couple of combo videos uh, and stuff, um, this one was actually also ported to one of the GBA games. I feel like it was also referenced or something like that. I don't. Why is this so familiar to me? Why do I know that I've seen this background? Combo videos? Especially, I think one of the combo videos you worked on did a 2000 combo and used this stage. Maybe. Maybe that's, I think what, that's it what it is. Okay, okay. 99 has good ass aesthetics and a good ass soundtrack. Where is this? I wonder if this is like based on a real aquarium somewhere. Oh. Uh, Probably. Ooh, Korea of, again here. Obviously. You can tell by the vases. Yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that jury is going to blow up in the background, right? Because in Street Fighter 4, you just, every time you fight on our stage, all the vases yeah, in the background sure. blow up. But I like the lighting effects on the bottom dude, right, dude, though. I, I just like the I like the reflection here, mm -hmm. too. And the cars passing by, yeah, uh, like kind of changing the light over here. I mean, that's actually a good point is that is that uh, KOF 14 has a stage with an aquarium. It might be supposed to be the similar oh, the same aquarium. Okay, okay. I wonder. Yeah, no, but this is really pretty. Again, like SMK KOF environment artists have always been fucking magic. I don't know what it is. It's like like I, like when you make these environments in 3D, I feel like the the, the, the elements don't pop. Mm -hmm. Like they real like there's something about it being so realistic that 
it's like the opposite effect of Uncanny Valley is you stop paying attention to everything in, that's back there. You know what I mean? Because it just looks like... Because it tweaks your suspension of disbelief or something. Right. When you're looking at a 2D background... You... It probably is. And that's what we're kind of curious about. Yeah. If that aquarium is based on a specific one. The, 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 the thing about a 2D background is because it's flat, your brain treats it like art. It, it, I feel like... Well, I mean, at least yours does. Yeah. I feel like my brain interprets it... Oh, interprets, your cheeks, actually. Yeah, my cheeks. <laughs> my cheeks interpret it differently than, uh, than, than, you know, I, when I see just actual 3D backgrounds you know, that, that scroll properly with the camera and stuff, it feels like I don't have to pay attention to what's back there anymore. Whereas, like, in a 2D sprite background, I feel like I kind of want to yeah, see... Yeah, you want to take in the whole image. Right, I want to see what the yeah. people when created. You, when you have 3D in depth, it doesn't feel like one image. Mm -hmm. And so this is, like, this is one image, it's like one painting, you want to see everything. Right, exactly, exactly. There's just, it's just something mm -hmm. about it's some, it. probably something to do with, like, the forest for the trees argument kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ripley's Aquarium in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a great shark tank. Okay. Right. Yeah, I know, like, the Animal Crossing New Horizons Aquarium is based on a real mm. aquarium because it's kind of, like, really, really close and specific mm. because it's the aquarium we went to in Tokyo. Oh, <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> okay, wow, that's this is, like, way too that's close. Fair. Oh, man. KOF 2000 Arrange Music is a sonic CD of Arrange Music. <laughs> that doesn't... Okay. okay. You don't agree or something? I horrifically don't agree because, if nothing else... I think there's a big point that most people agree on 2000 soundtrack, and a lot of people are kind of split on Sonic CD soundtrack. Because uh -huh. I, I fucking love Sonic CD soundtrack, right, uh -huh. and I know a lot of people who do, and I know a lot of people are like the fuck is most of this crap. Uh, my problem is <laughs> you don't neither know neither of those things. You know, no, you've heard some of 2000s because oh, you've yeah, been yeah, in the yeah. car with no, me. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I don't know the arranged music. I like both. Yeah. I actually really like both soundtracks for different reasons. Was Sonic CD? No, it was Sonic 3 that was the Michael Jackson Correct. one, right? Yeah, okay, okay. All right. Anyways, I really like this stage. Yeah, no, I was about to say the, the lighting on the fan is really good, and then the heat blur over here on the left is really nice as well. Oh, this is a cool stage. Whose stage is this, I wonder? I mean, at this I mean, point, it was just background. Yeah, I'm right? really not sure if anyone had, like, su like supposedly locked-in stages, except for, like, mid-bosses. Right, and bosses. Yeah. Oh, so, ooh, I this must be cool as a yeah. stage. So, so Kula was a mid-boss in this game. It was her first introduction. Uh, okay. And anytime she appeared, she froze the arena. Oh, wait, so did every arena have a frozen version? Not every one, okay, uh, but okay. a couple of them. Okay, okay. Because um, there is, I think, one or two other stages that have a frozen iteration. Interesting. But not every okay. one day. Dang, that's kind of neat. But I, I fucking love the frozen version of this yeah, stage. It's so neat. cool. And yeah, if I recall correctly, that's not like a mistake. I think the fan also does stop moving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's got to. It's got. If it didn't stop moving, I think it would have been more like that's wrong kind yeah. of a thing. Yep. Well, I mean, we've so. got a second page coming up. Yeah. I didn't want to spoil anything. Oh, here we go. This might be the one that they're referring to here, right? Dude, so, these these pop up ads are not pleasant. Hey, look, you know what? The site has to make money. I mean, yeah, I, I get it, but like, it's, it's not the most enjoyable method. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing is that having talked to Kaneda, who worked on the at Shoryuken.com, the ones that are not the the ones that don't get in the way don't make any money. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Why, because people are more inclined to accidentally click them? No, because they know they're not as intrusive, so they don't oh, so give they don't, you any rate. Oh, so they don't pay. Just, okay. just, but the ones that are intrusive will pay more because, okay, that's fair. you know, yeah, okay. basically. Anyways, so yeah, this is the one. Yeah, this is the tanker stage. I never even that. realized that, that was another <laughs> giant-ass boat in the back left. Oh, wait, oh, oh, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, okay. But yeah. And oh, then yeah, so, look at this. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, uh, there's a really cool ice stage in eleven. Yeah, it's a, it's like a Russian party or like uh, not a carnival, but something. Right. What's actually like ice capades. What's actually neat about that too is that you know for them to make these uh, frozen stages, if they are stagnant like this, which one artistically is awesome because every time a stage freezes and it just doesn't move anymore but also it saves, has flavor and it also saves them resources mm -hmm. too for making an alternate yeah, I have to animate it twice hell yeah yeah uh, exactly 
So I think that's actually neat. Now, I just want to point out with the way that this thing moves. 2001 was Redacted's debut game. Yeah, because I, I could see this even when I had it scrolled like this. But I love the way that this is animated. Mm -hmm. It's not just going up and down, but you can see that it leaves a little yeah, after looks, image. Well, I don't know how much that's the gift, but I do know this actually does look phenomenal in game. Right. And I no. think it has some like bonus dithering effects and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but I mean, if that's what they did on purpose, well, it's not literally they just took the model and shook it up and down, but they actually drew like little you know, yeah. after images. Like I haven't actually played on this stage in forever, so I can't confirm or deny. <laughs> but I just remember, like, I always thought that that tractor looked sick. That is really cool. Though. Like, I love the jumbling of the rocks, too. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. It's like I said, it's just like, just the things that they, it's like, you could tell whenever they made these backgrounds, they're like, can we do this? Let's do it. Let's try. Let's try. And I just really? feel like, that's not a challenge anymore. And I don't yeah, know. there there is like an actual animation of it breaking oh, through. Oh, that's cool. So this is just okay. like the as is kind right, of thing. Right, right. And then are these supposed to be the same ruins that are in thirteen? By any chance, does anybody know? Because they look really similar. Yeah, but that's neat too. I mean, nicely done on the yeah. sound sand effects and everything. Yeah, and it's and cool stuff. too because it's such a simple effect, but it's so effective. Yeah. Uh, again, I mean, yeah. It's just what I love about this 2D artwork mm -hmm. so much. It's, it is, like you said, simple but effective. And for them to find ways to do that, <laughs> to <laughs> there's just JoJo references. I Everything mean, is a JoJo's reference. I mean, kind of is. Yeah. Everything like, is a JoJo's reference. To figure out how to do these within the confines of what you can actually pull off with the hardware and everything like that, with having the characters fighting and not having it so that the background is so detailed that it obfuscates your characters and all this stuff. Ah, yeah. I mean, which is a problem that some modern games are still having, oh. where like your character doesn't pop enough compared to the stage, so you actually lose yourself. I mean, Auric had an interview with Daisuke, and, or with the guys who did Guilty Gear for Ars Technica, and they said that they're going to work on like having an option to maybe make it so that the background is a little dimmer or something like that. Would that would be so cool. Because, like, just lower the saturation yeah, of the background or something. Because right now, Strive has that problem, where sometimes it's hard to tell I wasn't going to name names, all yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, it's still not as bad as playing Street Fighter Four with a red viper on the volcano stage. You are fucking invisible. You know that David always picked Red Zangief in that stage on purpose, right? I'm, I'm not surprised. Because red is his favorite color, and that background is like the worst eyesore ever, and so that's exactly what he I didn't find the do. stage that, that bad. <laughs> yeah, and then the guitar going in the background all the time. So. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It just sounds this. like the cheat trying to beatbox. <laughs> But again, I mean, this is the, this is all they have here. Yeah. So for this, but I mean, but that's still like that's more than some of the other. It's a good games. sampling size yeah. for sure. So all right, two thousand one. This is where things stumble. Just oh, fair warning. Really? Yeah. It feels like maybe it's kind of a, a. This is this is the this is the first game after the SMK bankruptcy. Aha! Gotcha! Gotcha! And oh, there we go. So, oh, it's this one. Okay, okay. So yeah. the thing is that this game is one of those games that tried to do too much, and so it kind of pushed the limits of the Neo Geo. Right. So the first thing that suffered was sound. Okay, okay. The uh, the soundtrack. Uh, let's, let's we'll call it grating. Okay. It's not okay. that it's even like badly written, but because of the sound quality in the game, it's kind of grating. Mm -hmm. Um, the announcer is not terribly pleasant to listen to. And the stages are just kind of okay. Isn't this a, like a... I almost feel like we see, saw this stage already, but maybe we haven't. I mean, it's still not that bad, right? I mean, it's still yeah. a really nice but stage. But the other thing is, like, a lot, of, a lot of this game, not counting the overall gameplay and sound, is uh -huh. just okay. Right. Like, I don't even shit on 2001 the way a lot of people do, because the game is just okay. 
And mm. there were elements of it that got too big for its britches. They tried some really creative things this that didn't the, pan this out. This is the one that had the tagging, right? This is the one that was. No, the, the this is the ratio system with this, with strikers. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's right. Yeah, that's what I meant. Strikers tagging yeah. is only is only o three and eleven. O three and eleven. O three and eleven. Right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So yeah, yeah, this is this is the one that has like the ratio system and the assists. Right. This where is the you one can have the, one the, strong character and three assists, yeah, and the yeah, game yeah, goes yeah, to yeah. nonsense mm -hmm, real mm -hmm, quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it definitely shook things up. I mean, some people are saying that it actually kind of brought people's... Uh -huh. brought yeah, people. well, because that's the thing. Is it also just, you know, it's like kind of like Marvel, where you sometimes need some overt bullshit and you can attract more attention. Yeah. If your mm -hmm. game is too honest, you might not be able to hold people as much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then so like this is a good example. Where it's like it's not back. a bad stage by any means, but and I like the the, the effects they're going for with like the backlighting on those guys right, and everything. Yeah. But it also makes them look really two dimensional. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean the lighting is good and everything like that, but it doesn't look quite as it doesn't quite look as uh, it doesn't artistic. have the oomph. It yeah, doesn't have the oomph. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. And this... Back to Europe, it looks um, like. I here. don't think we will, on this stream, be seeing the PS2 redone versions, but we might. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, 13, I mean, 12 and 13 felt like they were trying to reset things again. Right? Yeah, 12, so. 12 and 13 more were trying to recapture 98 and 02. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And since they were leaving the hardware that Eleven was on, they probably didn't see any reason to stick with the same style right. or engine. And the gap was so long, they weren't sure if they should keep going with it. And frankly, to be honest with you, and again, this sucks to say it this way, but maybe Eleven wasn't as successful. 2003 and Eleven weren't as successful because it was in that really weird, weird arcade transition period of time. Yeah. And so they no, were, I mean, I always feel really lucky that I got to play Eleven in an arcade. Right. I mean, we are in SoCal. That's exactly. why. <laughs> and it was still one of two arcades I've ever been in that had it. Oh, dang. This is a real bridge, huh? Let's see here. The Rialto Bridge. Oh, dang. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, nice. <laughs> that one I Googled. <laughs> Oh, that's really nice. But it's always really cool that they do you try to use the real backgrounds like that. That is neat. And look at here it is at night. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. That's cool. But how did you even know what to look up? Because like, it's what? obviously Italy. So just look up Italy Bridge, maybe, I guess. I don't oof. Fake Blue Mary. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll accept Bridge that. Venice. There you go. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Dang. My Google Foo is really bad. I, I can't find shit on Google at all. It's, it's really Shout outs to hair metal windmills. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> this one is, uh, this one's pretty This famous. is actually one of my favorite stages. Yeah. I, I swear I've seen this one a million times too, but that might have also been a combo video thing or something Or like it might that. be just you think it's Kyoshiro. No, there's no, no, because I distinctly remember this yeah. logo and everything. So there's something about this that I've seen a lot. I don't know why does it feel like I've seen a lot of these 2001 backgrounds before. Combo videos. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> zoom in on the hairband guy. This makes me think of the who is it the the, the guy who does that who out well, like draw is drilling things. Oh yeah, the, pow the power tool windows. Yeah, yeah, and uh -huh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy, uh, that guy's amazing. Uh, uh, and this is the Iron like, Man Two again. <laughs> the homage. Yeah. Uh. Uh, like I feel like. The cars in the back should have been like rumbling or something, or I don't know. Uh, the thing is that it's like seeing them at that turn angle mm -hmm. and not moving makes them feel out of place. Right. Uh, or they should just make it like Smash Brothers. The cars should just drive on the track and hit the player. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. 
Yeah. It's because it's because yeah. the cars are at the dynamic angle, right. like they're going to like a drift turn. Like this and one, nothing's happening. The yellow like the, one's the one that gets me. Yeah, the yellow one, and this car is even slightly slanted. Like it has the momentum pushing it to uh -huh. the side. It's like they drew it that way with the intention. Yeah, like they took a photo of a race and then just drew it exactly how they saw it, or, not taking motion into consideration. That or I, how much you want to bet these cars actually drove through here from time to time, and then they were just like, let's put them in place for now, and then they're like, we don't have the time or the budget to actually yeah. animate them. Oh, yeah, no, because animating that would suck. Right, because could you imagine if it was just like this and then every once in a while you see the cars go meow, 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 like that. Like, that's probably what they wanted to do. And so, yeah, because for sure this car looks more like it's in motion. Yeah, or like the rally stage in CVS too, yeah. which used 3D assets. Right. And was on a more powerful hardware. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Naomi is a lot stronger than the <laughs> MVS. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I gotta say, actually, the second guy from the left in, like, the white t-shirt. Oh, this guy here? He's got some really good weight to his animation. Yeah, he does. He does. I like this chick here, dude. She's just, she's getting... She's vibing. She, she's vibing. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it always... It, honestly, yeah, you can tell. It feels like 2001 feels like a step back. A little bit like this feels more Again, like though, 94, like, 95 because, kinda. because they didn't have the whole of SMK staff on it. Yeah, they only had a small chunk of what was like SMK <coughs> was during 2000. Everything else is pretty much Eolus. Yep, and then and bless and you, Carlito is absolutely right. Put a mariachi band there, otherwise they won't know. This is Mexico. We gotta have the guy with the hat, of course. Yes, of course. One guy's gotta have the sombrero. And <laughs> actually, two guys have the sombrero. It looks like. Yeah. Three? Yeah, I think that's a third. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. 2001's boss is horse shit. Uh, and the only time that he doesn't feel like horse shit is when you're watching, um... Uh, what's his name? Like, it's like... Q something or another? I can't remember his name right now. But he's a combo video maker, but he does just him doing actual... Like combo videos and edit nonsense with AI manipulation of uh, the boss yeah, of this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. I know someone's going to know exactly it's what I'm talking tool about. Tool assisted stuff, basically. No. State, frame state kind of thing. I, right? mean, I mean, he might be doing save state before the match, but everything else is done, like, live, and he, you know, like, intentionally keeps mistakes oh, because they're fucking okay, hilarious. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> but, yeah, Las Vegas, America stage here. No surprises here. G-Pax. That's who it is. G-Pax, okay, okay. <laughs> Always have to have, like... Just like bikini girls, it's Vegas and yeah. everything. So, I mean, it probably was. Mm -hmm. Like that actually kind of does look like early two thousands Vegas it before does. before it does. like a lot of them were torn yeah. down. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep, the money on the streets because that happens in Vegas all the time. You guys who haven't been to Vegas don't actually know that there's so much money in Vegas. People just throw on all the streets. Everywhere. Yeah, I mean nobody that, cares. I mean that's right? why I'm going in a couple of weeks. Right, you're just gonna yeah. go and try to grab the money. Yeah, I mean just gonna walk around, <laughs> scoop some up, and go get a burrito. No big deal. Dan, <laughs> so you're gonna go to that one burrito place uh, or taco place? Was it? I'm, yeah, yes. <laughs> of course we're going. It's tradition. What's it called again? Uh, Husons. Hussons? H-U-S-S-O-N-G. Yeah, I've still never been there before. I you need, you a, need to fix that. I need to fix that one of these days. Okay, so sure. now we're in boss stages. <clears throat> like, this is actually one of my favorites aesthetically. I think it's just really kind of cool. I mean, I think my biggest the problem... sunset in the uh, back kind of thing. The only thing I don't like about the stage is the giant cat head that's like in the front. Yeah. That's probably blocking everything. You know what's ever, even you. funnier is that you actually do fight a black lion on this stage. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Zero has the pet black uh, lion. That's hilarious, dude. That actually. Oh yeah, they're not dollar. They're not dollar bills. They're the stripper flyers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> She's not happy. She is also, for the happy. record, his black lion is fucking awesome. Is it? Oh, oh it's so cool. And then this one here. Shoutouts to the booty statue. The booty statue? <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, it actually reminds me of, like, one of the enemies from Symphony of the Night. Yeah, actually. You know exactly yeah, which yeah, one yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's the booty. Hmm. 
this guy looks amused, or either that, or he really wants her, dude. Because look at it, he's, he's just like. I mean, I wouldn't uh, be surprised if these are actually supposed to be like real, like no, like Greek statues or something. Right, where it's actually a story mm-hmm. being told, and I just don't know it. Okay, so that's two thousand one. All right, so let's check out two thousand two. Should I yeah. do the same? Right? No, they are different. Oh, so they I'll are be, very different. Oh, so I'll be doing both of them. You then. will. Okay. Um, okay. I, although I would suggest maybe we go chronological order, so we do O two U M later. Okay. Sure. Just tell me when I should veer back to it. So. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Oh, okay. wow. So I, the Mexico stage was a perfectly <laughs> true real place as well. Neat. Oh, dang. See, this is what I mean. Like, <laughs> and then just straight up, dang, 2001 stage is soaked. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this uh, Google Neat. flu here from Alan here, dude. Uh, I don't know if O2 is the worst. It's definitely no, it's not winning any prizes, but it's not, like, awful. Right. I mean, heavy D's there. <laughs> Hey, cameos will always work, right? So. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh no, definitely those Vegas flyers. I used to like collect a whole set. So did you when I lived in Vegas? Oh man. Did like, you? We're gonna, we're gonna go like hang out in Vegas. It was like, hey, you want this crap? I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, that's a double. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I went down the street and picked them up, I would have gotten six of Takuma there, dude. You know. <laughs> You somehow would have found the one female stripper named Takuma. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> basically, yeah. Or it just would have been for the girls, you know, Takuma. The, 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 the Do you daddy, think that marketing the daddy works for them? Card. Do you <laughs> think that marketing works on women? <laughs> yeah, it's probably true. <laughs> yeah, but like the only image of family reunion you'll ever see. On this one? Kasumi and Toto. Oh, there's IG. Right. Oh, there they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, like the only time cool. you ever see the two of them together, and they both know that they're both there. It feels like that they, on this one, they're kind of leaning into the cameos thing, right? Because AG is just sitting over there, and Heavy D is chilling over here as yeah. well. So you got AG, Heavy D. Heavy and... D and the art of fighting. <laughs> Why is Heavy D chilling in the middle of Japan, dude? Like, he's just... Because he could afford the plane tickets, obviously. Okay, I fair mean, enough. What the, why are you not in Japan? <laughs> true. Okay. <laughs> that that is the most true statement. <laughs> why are you Why are you not in Japan? <laughs> because I can't. <laughs> is is oh, about okay. the, yeah <laughs> is about the most accurate sentence. Yep. And then see right there. Now you got <laughs> geese kushnudvat. Because I just like saying Kushnud, but Marco right. Rodriguez. Uh, Jubei, right? No, not Jubei. Is, who's this? Actually, again? I think that is Jubei. I can't swear to it. I, I, I can't see it well enough, but I think it's Jubei. Okay, okay, okay. And then Toto is just having a grand old time. I just wasn't sure if that was the right name that I said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Jubei. And <laughs> he is having a grand old time. Dude, that's awesome. I love this. I'm having a, I'm having a good time with that. Meanwhile, Kasumi's just sitting down there going, Yeah, let's go, Dad! That's she's just fa- happy to be that's included. That's family support right there. She's dude. just happy to be included. Yeah. I mean, that's why she's in 11, because somebody included her. And then AG is, like, still there. Yeah, uh-huh. And Toto was just there. He's had a few, I think, uh, at oh, this point. a few? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. He's probably drunk by this point. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's good. But that's cool. So they had the, at least the, the, the transitions yep. for the stages in this game here. So that's neat. So they're just watching them fight through windows. Oh, actually, these aren't even windows. That's open. That's open, yeah. Just watching them fight. But that's actually kind of neat here. See, I, see, I like the flavor of the background on these ones more than I do in, in, in 2001. Mm-hmm. Like, there's something well, about the... It's, it is worth noting that this game is a dream match, so they don't have to give a fuck. Right, yeah. <laughs> so Brian and Lucky... Oh, yeah, Tzok, obviously. Is this King, King? Because she's not in the game. Oh. Which chat was like, it sucks they made her a cameo because she wasn't in the fucking game. What's wrong with them? Why are they both, like, choking out here, dude? Like, Oh, she's, like, adjusting herself, ch- coughing herself, and I don't know. Like, they both look like they're freaking out, dude. Oh. Yeah, pe- oh, yeah, so the guy with the blue shirt, people like t- to pretend that was Rock, except it's not. Oh. Uh, and then you've got Hydern on TV, and then Duck King rocking out in the top left. <laughs> Nobody knows who the. I mean, it feels like this blue guy should be somebody, right? Like Han Han Fu, maybe you know. No, or? no, no. It's definitely not Han Fu. Okay, okay. 
But why, like I said, she's definitely, like, rolling her eyes up or something. Well, the thing is, like, that's basically just a port of, like, one of her wind poses. Is it? Oh, yeah, okay. but, yeah, he looks like he's getting hit in the back of the head. Yeah, like, I feel like both of these characters, something's wrong with them or something. Because, yeah, it almost looks like tears are coming out of her eyes. Or, like, like she's, like, coughing something It feels up, like they or... both just ate some really spicy food. It's really... I mean, if they're in Mexico, that's actually possible. Right. I mean, I'm wondering if that's the joke, you know what yeah. I mean? But, but like, just... it just definitely feels like there's context missing. Right. But whatever, Hydran's on TV. I mean, and maybe... he's on TV, like, everywhere in this game. I know, but the thing is, he looks like he's ready for dominate world domination right now. He's got the fist pounding We need everything. to take down the Hydran's. Yeah. Now, uh... Is that... No, that's not Shingo, probably. No. Oh, okay. Okay, then later on in the day... As everyone just gets the fuck out. Dude, everyone's gone. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. And then nighttime. Oh, they just drop the thing down. They just drop a little lantern down. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, this one I really like. This one actually made me really happy when it first came out. Because the stage is really quiet and enclosed. And what is Jasmine doing? She's knocking things off the table. I mean, it's a cat. I mean, you know, it's strange that Jasmine and Nathan don't do that as much as other cats do, but they still do it every once in a while, so... You just see how much shit Kitty knocks off of tables. <laughs> I'm just staring at the chat right now, waiting to see, <laughs> waiting to see what happens. So anyways, the stage has two cameos right now, yes, which is just adorable. Mm -hmm. But uh, who who what's the name of the, the, her again? Him. Him. Sorry. Bao. Bao. That's Bao. Yeah, that's, that's Bao. right. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One uh, of these days, you'll play a game that has him in it, and you'll stop forgetting right. because he will traumatize you. <laughs> uh, and then you know, Master Tongue. Yes, of course. Who's sleeping? Of course. And that's a nice vase. That's actually it really is. nicely done. Uh, and then the stage opens up, uh, and all the panels are shifted out of yeah. the way. And then you see fucking... Everybody! Oh, it's not just that. Is that the two of them are having an eating contest that he has no hope of ever winning. <laughs> is she just known for eating a lot or something? Shang Fei is up there with, like, Goku on the stupid appetite, like, cartoonishly mm. so, that never makes sense. So the fact that Chen Xin Zan is, like, trying to keep up still puts him leagues ahead of most people... But never. I mean, I love it. He's just chick is just handing him bowls and he's chopsticking his way in there. Mm -hmm. She's doing it on her own. She don't need any help here. Oh yeah, she's like double fisting it. Right. And what's his name again? Lin. Lin. He's another member of the Hizoku. Right. He's just chilling here too as well. Maybe. Oh, he's eating too, actually. Yeah, but he. You notice how he has to turn around the pillars so that no one sees him pull down his mask. Oh. Because <laughs> the only time that mask ever comes just off, he's like barfing up purple yeah. great clouds. Content, James. Oh, thank you, Megan. Your streams podcasts were Ooh. essential in helping me get through the pandemic, and I've been loving this new SNK show. Looking forward to what this next year will bring. Oh, thank you, Mega Man fourteen twenty one. Appreciate that. Sigma nuts, cat butts to Mega Man twenty one. Yeah, butts. there you go. Sigma nuts, cat butts. But that's cool. I like seeing these guys back here. I really hope Shang Fei makes it back. Is that Bao way back there now? Yes. Okay. But see, again, this is what I mean. It's like, you know, it's like when they showed those little minimalist things with just the striped colors and you knew exactly which Some Street Fighter character. Some glass character design. Right. Uh -huh. You know exactly what Street Fighter character is. Mm -hmm. this, that's what like that. That's what this Bao does over uh -huh. here, right? That's a sign of good character design. And then there's, what is it? The Jin's. Jin. Chon Rei and Chon Shu. Chon Rei. Okay, I remember Chon Shu. I couldn't remember the other one. And that looks like a stiff Goku or something in the back over there. <laughs> There's a, a love Athena sign. Yeah. Was that there before? Oh, you couldn't see it because it was blocked. Yeah, like technically I think it's there, but... Yeah, but there you go, Athena. Yeah, yeah the gins. <laughs> and there should still be plenty more. Yeah, we'll see how they get through this. There's Hanfu. Ah, yes, okay, okay. Ha! Yeah. Winner and no, still no, champion. Note the jiggle physics. Yeah, like, he is uh -huh. bloated. And she's just like, whatever, dude. Uh -huh. Look at this chick. She's like, are you okay? Oh, are you okay? Are you going to live? And he's like, oh, I'm dying. And she just like already metabolized it. Yeah. Like, she she's like, I mean, look, there was that one, the, the hot dog eating champions. There was the one chick. Yeah. yeah she was like, oh my God. Uh, 
I mean, hot dog eating contests internationally are just about yeah. the funniest damn thing. But Han Fu looks like he just ate something too, and he's enjoying it as well. Yeah, he's like licking his fingers. Yeah, he's like, mm, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Yum. Oh, man. Like, even look at these little pixel dudes in the back over here. Mm -hmm. They amuse me terribly as well. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. And Bao's still back there. Uh-huh. And what is this? Who are they cheering for? China, maybe? Chin. Chin. I think it's just Chin. Oh, okay. Athena cheering for Athena back here. And <laughs> he Tongue is just... He's like, he doesn't feel great. He's like, I don't want to go. <laughs> Who is this person talking to Tongue? I can't remember that character's name. Is Someone, someone's actually, gonna have to back me up. Oh, is it actually a, a character though? Is yes. this an own character? Okay, yes. gotcha. I can't remember their name, so I'm gonna need someone to back me up. I mean, that almost looks like Kyo back there, but obviously no, or it's not. a Shingo or a Kyo cosplayer. Or something right, like exactly. That. Yeah, oh, that's why. I can't, it's, our... Yeah, it's an art of fighting character. Is he actually a fighter? Yeah. Oh dang. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, again, my art of fighting knowledge is pretty... Lee. Lee. It is Lee. Thank you. Yeah, my art of fighting knowledge is, like, ass. And you call yourself an S and K egg. No, I'm just kidding. You know so much about this dang game. <laughs> yeah, and I just, I just don't play art of fighting. Right, yeah. Um, oh, one, of these days, one of these days I'll fix it, but... So he's talking to Tung Fu Ru, huh? Oh, yeah, it's Lee Pai Long. That's right. There you go. But, yeah, and, like, Battle Coliseum, you think I played an art of fighting character? I was like, oh, sweet, geese. Oh, what a weird character. Oh, sweet, Shiki and Ashura. He's just wearing a, he's just wearing a Monkey King mask, isn't he? Is that what it is that he's doing? Okay. Oh, he was in Neo Geo Battle Coliseum? How funny. Yeah, but okay. again, Battle Coliseum, I was like, okay, I'm going to play, I'm going to play the new characters. I'm going to play geese. I'm going to play Shiki and Ashura. Every so often I'll play like Terry and Rock. And that's about it. Oh, uh, this is. I think this is the boss background, I'm guessing. Uh, what, I don't know what would clue you into that. <laughs> All the weird electric lights that they love. And in rampant every... destruction. Yeah, they always and... love the lights everywhere, Akira kind of look uh -huh. thing, you know. The... Oh, man. I mean, it definitely looks a little messy, but probably intentionally so. You know, on the other hand, like if you ever get a chance, look up Omega Rubel's intro in this game. Uh -huh. It's pretty fucking metal. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, because he has like all this extra gear and all these like tubes and pipes and oh, wires and shit. I think I've seen that before. And he like stands before. up and yeah. then just drops it. Oh, right, it's so yeah, cool. Yeah, okay, okay. I think I have seen that before. <laughs> if it looks like a doom stage, you're probably at the boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Unlimited match, huh? Different backgrounds on this I thought we one? agreed to skip this for now. You are right. Okay. Uh, go ahead and open the new tab and then move the tab out of the way maybe or something. Sure. Okay. But yeah, now 03. King of Fighters. 03. This is so 03 kind of has the same issue that uh, 2001 did mm -hmm. where it pushed the limits too hard so like audio suffered. Mm. Okay. Hmm. They have them. These in, are kind of awkward. Chopped up, yeah. You don't. See well, them. no, actually, no. I think it's actually right because uh, this game has uh, super jump height because of some of the knockdowns. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, they actually I still think I, I still don't know. I thought it was supposed to be a little wider, but this stage is always awkward looking. Okay. And the thing is, yeah, I don't remember there being rain on the stage. I don't remember there being rain. Huh. So weird. yeah, I mean, no. The, the the thing is, the stage was always weird. It might still be chopped, but it's the angle on the stage has always been awkward. But yeah, I don't remember a rainy version of this stage at all. That's weird. Um, and then I think this one actually might be one we don't have all the details on because right. the next stage is like the boss stage. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all he has is just for those stages. So we, yeah, we, we might have to look that one up then. Yeah, we're gonna have to look. So obviously the the, the two thousand three uh, list here is not extensive. I mean, I told you the game suffered. It only had two stages. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they really chopped down. A, a, what is King of Fighters two thousand six? America's rename for one of the Max Impact games. So skip this, basically. One hundred percent skip. Okay. Okay. Eleven. 
Do you know much about this game? I'm wondering. I, I know. Like, I know a little bit about how it. How familiar? I, I, you know, I've got some familiarity with it. Okay, I'm not sure. I mean, do, is this one of the ones that you like, or is this? Kinda... I, 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 I think it's one of my favorites. Okay. I, okay. I'm, I, I kind of like it. I'm, I'm <laughs> but pretty, you can... <laughs> I'm pretty fond of it. It's, uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> You can definitely tell the graphics engine is a lot stronger all yeah. of a sudden, so because the backgrounds are yeah, a lot. So, so this one was on the Atomus Wave, which is basically the same as the Dreamcast and the Naomi, okay. which tell you like the jump in power. So right. they went from the Neo Geo to like a Naomi board, basically. Like the fact is, actually, this game has a bootleg release on the Naomi. Oh yeah, because okay, like, okay, they're okay. so similar right, that someone right, could just right, bootleg right. one together and it worked. So I'm assuming this is the. Uh... Well, I don't know who's... I so mean, there's... It's fuzzy. Like, they're not really stages per team. Right, But yeah. some of the teams, like, are given, like, one of two stages as their default. Um, Wasn't this the a brand that they use in KOF all the time? Or Fuji something or other? Or no? I don't know. I'd have to dig. Okay. But it looks like battery... Free battery test. That's what they're doing here, it looks like. What is the difference between Naomi and Atomus Wave? Uh, where things plug in, Atomus Wave is a little more consoleized right out of the gate, and I think about, like, 8 megs of RAM, maybe? <laughs> like, they're really similar. It's, it's just funny, because this is... Like, I feel like this is the Akari Warriors stage, because it's... Well, it's, it's, it's very, also got some Fatal Fury, I It's got some mi militaristic stuff going on over yeah. here, but they're also on the beach... This almost looks like it's like Miami or Puerto Rico or something. I swear I feel like I've been here in Puerto Rico. Oh, maybe. God. Puerto Rico is beautiful. One of these days, I'll, I'll, I'll just say this. If First Attack comes back, uh, not even for the tournament, but like f just have that as an excuse, it's you and Kitty should go. Oh, it's maybe. Puerto Rico is beautiful and the food is amazing. It's so good. It's really nice there. I really like yeah, it. Yeah, and that's the thing. Is it looks like Sound Beach, but there's no other evidence other than it's an SMK game with a beach stage. <laughs> and you've got this, you know, the fucking military garage here. Right. Ooh, okay, okay now this nice. stage. That's nice. I've always really had a big soft spot for this stage. This one always felt like one of the iconic 11 stages. Straight up Cambodia. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah. It's definitely got some good flavor. <laughs> Just like the birds coming back and forth. The choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck. Yeah, and you got the depth here too, of course, with the bird passing behind the Well, and the thing is, like, the because they had so much more resolution to work with, they did a lot more interesting stuff with perspective right. in this game. Although, it might be it's the GIF, but it looks like he shouldn't be flying in front and behind here. There's something weird about the way that looks anyway. Uh, we... Oh, no, it's because, see that very front branch? That's those leaves oh, are on that branch. Oh, I see. And these ones are on the back tree yes. over here. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'd be on board with that, like, garage actually being directly referencing, like, artifacting or something. That'd be pretty mm. sick. Okay, I just like this one, just in general. Like, there's nothing crazy about it. It's just kind of nice. No, it's another one of those nice mood ones. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a good aesthetic to it. And the way that they, like, the detail on the bridge, and I'm sure Alan will look up this bridge and figure out what it is somehow. Yeah. Um, but uh, the way that it also disappears into the kind of, like, you know, depths back here is really nice. This whole thing is a really nice touch here. Also, one of the things, like, I'm just going to gush for a second. Eleven actually pays attention to what materials your character are, uh, are walking on. It's a Roman aqueduct. That makes sense. Oh, because it has the sound effects when yeah, you're running. Yeah, so you right. actually, since you're fighting on these tile rooftops, your running footstep sounds are actually that tile. Oh, okay. And a couple of the stages, they even have two or three different materials, and they'll actually change what the sound is right. depending on where the stage you are. I think it's actually funny that Seiryu recognizes it because of the, the fr from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, there you go. <laughs> yeah, makes sense to me. Uh, oh yeah, and there's the, a cat. On yeah, you? there's there's a there's actually a little cat that walks around oh, on the rooftop okay. when you guys are fighting. Okay, got it. He's just but not animated here. I oh, fucking love pow, pow. this stage. But this is outside Pow Pow. This is like outside the delivery truck bay. Yeah, it's out in like the back, yeah, like it's the kind alley. Of rotten alleys. I fucking love this stage. This is just the America stage. Right. But it's like kind of South Town and kind of not. Right, but this, oh, is, the, this is the back alley over yeah. here. People I are just really chilling like here. I really like this stage. 
but then like they've got this store over here. What are they? What it's is the tagging of Bob? I love that. The temple. What does that say? The temple bar, maybe? I'm not sure. Live Magic XL is the name of the store over here. What was? Oh, this this over yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Pow, monster. Monster, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it could be a knockoff. Yeah, with the with the the picture of Bob back there, I I wouldn't suspect yeah. that to be the case. Gloria. I don't know what that also, is. I wonder if that G one flashing sign is actually an homage to Obari. In what way? G one. Oh. Uh... Like the the Twitter hi uh, like Twitter handle and everything in his studio. Oh, oh was that? I, I forgot what it was called. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, remember, I'm an old man. My memory doesn't work very well, so I have to keep reminding me of these things. S G. Also nuts to my reception right now. Apparently. Okay. But yeah, I wonder if like that actually the G one is actually there for. Like an Obari That'd homage. be cool if it was. That'd be really yeah, cute. it'd be nice. God, what does that say on the ground? Yeah, I mean, it could Smart. be a billion and one things, but if this is a stage that has, like, Fatal Fury references, right. like, maybe. Smart. I mean, I would. Oh, I see. This isn't a wall here. This is just a post thing. I see. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was a wall. Yeah, no, like... it's a concrete pillar, and yeah, then you can look yeah, yeah, yeah. past those two and see further back into the right, alley. Right, right, Okay, okay. Got it, got it. Yeah, this is probably the first time you've seen behind Pow Pow Cafe, right? So or, pretty much, at least yeah. in any sort of like fighting game right. way that we know of. But it doesn't matter because like Pow Pow Ca Cafe is just like Castlevania; like it changes every time you see it. <laughs> I like the way that the cartoon even kind of just acknowledges that yeah. it, just, it's, it just keeps changing. Okay, so oh, this yeah, stage, this is the classic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. with the little like shishu. Yeah, no but the dude's just sitting there cleaning forever. Yeah. But also, this is another one of the stages that um, it has the multiple terrain. So, like, if you're uh, running on the tatami, yeah, 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 it makes a different uh, sound than running on the wood. Right, right, okay. I uh, believe Pow Pow actually is a franchise, technically. Mm. Um, yeah, because wasn't the... Well, there's one, one in Mexico now. Wasn't Didn't King fighting? fight in, like, the Sky Bar version of one of them or something like that? Or was that I thought that was technically Pow Pow. Oh, that's just one of her bars. Yeah. Then. Okay, okay. But yeah, the f the best part about this is because you don't see the guys circle around over here. You really don't know how many of these guys that could stretch down for miles, really, and just have this giant of train course. of people. Yes, that definitely <laughs> makes sense. You know what? I never realized until just now. What's that? That that door is open. This one? Yeah. So that's a that's a lantern way in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. only just now noticed that because <laughs> you probably just thought it was just another door or something. Yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize gotcha. that was open. You're looking gotcha. way in the back there. That's Dude, actually really what is, neat. What is what is that? Oh no fucking way! Can you recognize what that is? It's is like, that Kusa Regetto? Or is it like just a dragon or something? It looks kind of like Kusa I, I oh I oh because of the stomach here. The stomach, the feet on the pile of bones. Gross things, yeah, and it almost kind of looks like the overlook. And it almost it looks kinda, like Kusa Regetto. It does actually. I I wasn't sure at first, but now yeah. I mean, it could be one of those like now I'll never unsee it, but it's not intentional. But it kind of right. looks like Kusa Regetto. It does. It does in a weird way. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably a dragon. Like, yeah. this is probably supposed to be but the mouth But it's just the way it's hunched here. over yeah, and the way yeah. that things are, like, pulled out. And it looks like him just standing on, like, a pile of bones and flesh. Yeah, we can headcanon it that way. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. I definitely like my idea. Yeah. Also, though, like, just the background there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really pretty. I swear to God, if that's actually Chris Regetto. Uh, I, like, I doubt it. I doubt it. But well, still. I mean, we found Gainus's corpse. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. So, <laughs> which is seriously like now my favorite Easter egg yeah. in like all SNK stages. So is this Russia basically there? Yes. But I mean, is this actually the Kremlin or is this like a fake Kremlin? Because yeah, and I think it's just a cute ice festival yeah. and they rebuilt it. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Also, I have never seen the uh, the sun that they're holding. Oh, ha, 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 ha. 
I mean, it feels like Kula made all this or something. Yeah, I've always taken that as the uh, it's implied kind of thing. That Kula made this thing? Yeah. Yeah, uh Uh-huh. She Elsa'd it, basically. Yeah. Except she was there before Elsa. Now I just want to see Kula say, the cold never bothered me anyway. Or just let it go. Yeah, fair enough. We can talk about something else then. Hmm. Get it? Huh. Anyways. um, Uh, I always like this one. Dude, it's clean looking. Yeah. So this, the level's actually called White Town, mm-hmm. but, like, it has so many, like, homages in, ah! like, its texture and design. Yeah, it's a bit of kitty. What is this person doing? They're rocking out, dude. They're probably getting over an addiction. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I really like the texture on these walls. I wonder mm-hmm. if someone's suing them over it or not, so. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> And you're calling me out on shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, man. I'm proud of you, James. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how many people get that reference. That was uh, very, I'm sure plenty. Yeah, very recent. I think thing. the big question is how many heard you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That was spicy. <laughs> Yeah, right around from the cami stage. Yeah, it's true. I like the idea that uh, she's actually scratching her ass <laughs> on the wall like a bear. It's like the dancing dog. You know, that really famous dancing dog that's actually just scratching its ass, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, and then she on stage. You sound disappointed by this. I fucking love the stage and music and character. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. It's whether or not we're going to see them ever again. Mm, okay. I think this stage is awesome. And wouldn't you know it, it's another ruined temple of some kind. Yeah. Place has been destroyed. It's cool looking, though. It's nice. Again, it's another one of those really nicely evocative stages Mm -hmm. with the gray background. I mean, look at how they... The very subtle color changes here. Mm -hmm. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this layer of the background was only made out of like five different colors. Probably. The way they drew it, and it's really pretty. I mean, look at the cloud cloud texture here again. Also, if you ever get a chance, look at like all of Xion's animations. Uh Uh-huh. Holy shit. Okay. (laughs) Someone put in work. And then, of course... Uh, guessing boss stage, maybe. Yeah, you can tell by the Doom air enemies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Doom background yeah. factor. Yeah, no, as far as we know, Xion is still alive. Like, doing okay. But, yeah, like, we got some fucking, like, cyber demon bullshit going on. Yeah. Also, this boss is horse shit, and everyone knows it. Yeah, so if this is like a Doom background over here, based off of what I saw from the movie, these are all from Mars, right? Correct, these monsters obviously. Are from Mars, right? Okay, obviously. yeah, just making sure. <clears throat> well, I mean, Xion kind of crawled his way out of that portal, making, ter- making sure Magaki died. Yeah, Magaki's an ass. Oh, yeah, no, and, yeah. Dude, Magaki does not need meterless, super-level durability projectiles that are transparent (laughs) on this background. (laughs) So, uh, you didn't miss it if it's... It's just not on here. So, so, uh, Adelaide's 03 stage was not there because only two stages for 03 were on the list, so we're gonna have to try to double back for that. Mm -hmm. Um... So, yeah, no biggie. Okay. Do you want to hold off on 12, 13, 14, and 15? 15? (laughs) You want to hold off on uh, 12, 13, 14 since they're kind of the next? Or do you want to just finish the rest of them off now? Um, Actually, I think we're good to, like, even hold off on them. Because it's like, you know, you're going into HD and then 3D. Right, exactly. That's what I mean. Uh, So with that in mind, like, O2 UMs are technically 3D, but they're in the same way as, like, Dreamcast 98. So did they remake them, basically? Oh, these are all new levels. Oh, they made them all brand new. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, look at this. But they they pan and scroll a little bit more, yeah, but, but it looks like that this one, it doesn't have a lot of them either, so... I don't know. I mean, let's see. I just don't understand why they're separated. You can see it on the scroll bar over yeah, here. Yeah, so. it's not looking good. Yeah. So these ones have pop proper 3D parallax scrolling and everything like that, you know. 
I always like to just think this is from this is an homage to Sky Stage, but I'm an idiot, so. Yeah, it's split because you can see mm -hmm. obviously that one shows up over yeah. here. But what's interesting about it is even though the backgrounds are kind of 3D, they they're kind of not. <laughs> cat is doing cat things. Yeah. No, like well, apparently most of Xion is actually credited to one artist, so everyone's like lost their mind over like what that artist is capable of. Okay. Okay. Um, I can't remember because they use their handle and it's like Apple something. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's it. That's all they have. Okay, well, go back and see if there's anything. Because I thought there was one other, like, maybe at least still images. Or, whoa! I just meant on that same oh! page. Oh! My bad. Uh, is there anything else? Not really. Uh, I mean, there's these screen. Oh, there's video clips here. Uh, character yeah. artwork, background, okay. screenshots. Eh. I mean, you can, talk, I guess, take a peek at some of the stages. Right. This stage is really cool, because this is another one of the amusement park in Southtown. Is that a Big Bear cosplayer? No, I think it's actually just Big Bear. Is that Bao? No, Bao's in the game. Oh, Bao's in the game, okay. But that's definitely What's-His-Face from Last Blade. Right? Or from Fatal Fury. Oh, is he a Fatal Fury character? Oh. Uh, they both have a character kind of like that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it. Okay. <laughs> There's, a Chang float. There's a Chang float in the background, dude. Yeah, the Chang scene's on. Yeah. Or that is him, because he still hasn't digested all that food yet, theoretically, so. You're right. Big Bear's never been in a KOF. Has he never been in a KOF? Yeah, no, absolutely not. Oh, because Raiden's been in one, right? Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, the, you know, you just don't want to have the two of them in the same room. Just, right, fair it's, enough. It's not, it's not reasonable, like, to try to fair have enough, them fight over enough. the spotlight. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, God, they even put the sports team guys in the background again. Yeah. Why do they tease us like this? <laughs> but, yeah, like, there's some cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like, like yeah, seriously, cameos for days and days and days and days. Like, Kim's son back there right now. Is that Kim's son? Yeah, one of them. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say, I was like, a guy looks like he's supposed to be also, somebody. Also, was that a vanilla O2 screenshot for some reason? Is this vanilla O2? Not this one. No, no, uh, above that one. This? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's vanilla O2. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. I like this stage. Which thankfully isn't loading. There we go. There we go. Fucking Krauser. <laughs> Freeman. The one time SNK acknowledges Freeman's existence. Who's this? Uh, that is Jean d'Arc. What game is she from? What game is she from? She was last in Heroines. This is the dude from Garrow Mark of the Wolves, though. This dude mm -hmm. right here, right? Freeman, like I said. Oh, that's the his name. Oh, okay, okay. okay. And then who's this? This is, you said, was Krauser. And is that... Yeah, she's from World Heroes. There okay. we go. Thank and you. And is that Tezok? Yes. Okay, okay. Because you can't... Oh, I see. He's, oh. His head is turned. Oh, he he has a cameo in uh, Battle Coliseum. Okay. Okay. The four Although mile. this game came out after Battle Coliseum, so... Okay. But yeah, so two. What game is Jean d'Arc from again? World Heroes. World Heroes. Ah, okay, okay. Another one of those, uh... We never get to see anything about this game anymore. Kinda. I mean, Guy Tendo has a cameo in this stage. It always makes me happy. He's not visible now. Right, but right. he does have a cameo. And then Alfred. It's hard for me to tell. The and game. Howard Stern, apparently. Is that Jube again? Yes. Okay. The, dude, the, the dead center. <laughs> Howard Stern. <laughs> dude. I, like, it took you a minute. You're like, oh, crap. I, is. like, looked over. I was like, oh, wait. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Heavy D and a thong. Now, there's a lot of cool shit going on. No. Uh, Dude, I have given Bariki One enough love for, uh, for a lot of people. Yeah, I mentioned Bariki. Oh, wait, I is, he, is he actually? I thought, no, that's, that's Chubei. That's not the old man from uh, Ambition. Although I don't remember the old man from Wild Ambition's name either. Okay. But, uh, 
I mentioned Bariki one on the Tuesday show, and obviously nobody, nobody had any idea nobody, what the hell you were talking yeah. about. Yeah, nobody knew anything about that. So unfortunately, this guy in this one, no. But that's talk about. And there, yeah, there's Heavy D. Oh, there he is in a thong. Okay, yeah, yeah. I couldn't see him past Takuma, and you know, Takuma's, you know, abs yeah, and looking everything. Looking jacked. Like yeah. You know, it would actually be funny if they just put him into KOF 15 and gave him noodle arms for no reason. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> he went Instagram model style. Yeah, yeah he, that's what he's doing. So, wait, Duck King was there? Yeah, oh, like you can right see his here, pants yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, those shorts. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. It's definitely the Duck King color. And then there's Dead Geese over here. Okay. And then this is that stage that we saw. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, oh, is this the same stage? No, 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 no. It's a different one. It's ish. It looks the same because it has this thing here. And I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we were seeing like one of the weird alternate HD stages. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see. Here. Yeah, there's Duck back there now. We can see him. The Mediterranean Sea. Uh, boss background, obviously. Nameless. <laughs> I was going to say, is he supposed to look inverted? No, that's because his sprite is on fire, so they have to match yeah. the color palettes. Yep. Okay. You remember how a long time ago in Guilty Gear they used to have the animated character like under there? I actually was thinking about it. Maybe they should have done that for Street Fighter 4, but have their faces there. Because you know how when someone activates the Ultra, the other guy always goes, oh, yeah. like that would actually be hilarious to see him get scared of there. <laughs> that would be funny. Personally, I'm still holding out hope that uh, 15 is going to have your teammates in the background. Who? Which teammates? Your teammates. Like like in 98, if you had oh, the two characters oh, in the back. Oh, oh, oh. I, I was like, my team? My cheeks team me. Yeah, <laughs> my team. Yeah, the rhetorical you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. All right, so we got to look up the O three stages now. I don't know how we're gonna freaking manage that. Okay, let's see what we just can. Just to do. get it knocked out. Right. King of Fighters two thousand three stages. All right. Good luck. Okay. Arcade Quartermaster. Oh, this looks promising. Yeah, this will do. This will well, do. Look at this. Okay. Do they have the whole? Oh, no. this is this this is this is the. Get fucked. That's These are it. all cropped. Yeah, this is all we get, basically. Yeah, because, like, if you go to the bottom... Yeah, I don't think she's supposed to take up that much of the stage. Yeah. Okay, well... Okay, do they have stages here? Probably not. Oh, oh there's some. We have this. some. All right, yeah, all right. Look at this, look at this. They're small. Uh, but it's fine, you can zoom in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, We're right, on cool. to something here. We're on to something. Let's go S and K fandom wiki. Good shit. Good shit. What yeah. do you mean only thirteen tabs? You haven't seen my other window. Yeah, this is a different window for like the stream side. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows open. There's forty tabs in this one. Yeah. Anyways. His taskbar for the start menu is three deep. Yes. Uh huh. I mean, you can see it here on the screen. This is three deep. Well, you mean, can't see it on the first yeah. one over here. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Y'all are terrible. I'm really bad. Okay, so that's yeah. the whole stage. And this is and the one without looked, the rain, too. Yeah, and so, like like I said, the perspective on the stage was always weird, but this actually is cool. No, it's because they're hills. Yes, There's but they're still also, like, turned and kind of awkward yeah. and it's one of those weird triangular buildings and yeah, 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 it just yeah, yeah. feels a little it disorienting I, it's gotta definitely be created off of like a, an actual of building and, yeah. and photo so they probably recreated it yeah that and way. it's just it's just it, it it almost has like a tower of arrogance level of disorienting yeah, yeah, yeah. To it. like some escher painting or yeah. something or just anything out of vampire yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm surprised vampire hasn't had a more escher-esque background you know yeah, give it time yeah seriously right? maybe like 30 years we'll get a vampire four uh, so this reminds me of a street fighter three background now you know fighting on a rooftop next to the neon sign i mean personally i like the idea that like there was just a point where one of the buildings next to the snk headquarters was mussed up and they're just like you know what we're just gonna do that <laughs> 
Uh, also, Fatal Fury has actually had stages like that. Okay. Wow, that's a good picture. Yeah, is that one of the stages? Yeah. Okay. I think so. That's just a th broken thumbnail. Uh, oh, okay, uh, those okay. are real stages. Okay. okay, okay. We'll just skip those for now. Yeah, but... this one is not terribly notable except for the cows. I mean, it feels kind of homage back to one of the early ones. Remember that they were by the train station and everything? Yeah, yeah. or like O2 also has like the just fields of sheep. Right. Which we didn't even see that stage. Oh, yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, here we got another so this one. So this is also, I believe, where you fight Kusanagi. But, yeah, this one also has kind of a vampire feel to it. Yeah, like, Red Thirst. Yeah, it looks like Red Thirst. Yeah, just more people. Red Thirst is definitely a lot yeah, the more Yeah, the O2 all day. There, ah, we, there go. we go. Bet you can guess who you fight there. Yeah, so this is Adelheid's sister, right? This yes. is Rugal's daughter. Yeah, before she kind of got tweaked and redesigned a bit. Okay, what's her name? Rose. Rose, that's what it is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because as far as Rugal's concerned, he had two daughters. What do you mean? Adelheid is the, sh is the long hand for Heidi. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> I, so I've always took it that, like, Rugal is enough of an asshole to actually have a boy named Sue. <laughs> nice. Oh, shout out to Zizix here. Yo! With the raid here. Zizix, who is a... I think this is the same Zizix who... Yeah, who I was talking Jesus. to before. That named himself after the road in Vegas, near Vegas. If I'm not mistaken, it's the same Zizix here. Oh! Freaking cats. <sighs> She's the in-game store for KOFA, huh? Fascinating. For KOFA? So, KOFA is the weird uh, phone mobile port for uh, KOF 13. And it even has, like, all the 13-style sprites for the other characters that didn't make the cut. Oh, okay, So it's, like, okay. where you get to see, like, the cool, like, KOF 13 Adelheid that doesn't exist. Right. Yeah, if you, people are wondering... You want to learn about some KOF? Yeah, if you... <laughs> If you want to know what this stream is, basically, every Wednesday we do the synchronized stream where we just go through all SNK stuff, basically. Cause yeah. most, most of the time we have a trailer to look at, Yeah, but not, not this today. week. We've been reacting to the KOF 15 reveals, and then, uh, but otherwise, just trying to give KOF, SNK some love here in Transformers. Uh... <laughs> Make sure there are no sharp objects on the table here to be stabbed. Oh, Bye. you know good and damn well I'm not going to stab you. I'm going to punch you first. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So anyways, you fight Chizuru here. Oh, yeah, the mirrors. Okay, yep. that makes sense. <coughs> and then you go through that sweet doorway uh, this is the to full, the Orochi yeah, like, burial Orochi. shrine. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And this Spiggle is where you fight the snake. final boss. This is the... Snake. I mean, I wouldn't have guessed that this is the final boss stage. You know? Yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, this is almost like fetus of God levels of like just blinding. Yeah, and red. that's the thing. Like, so I really like the boss of two thousand three, Mukai. Uh huh. But I don't feel like he belongs in that stage. Oh, interesting. Like, I I really like that stage. I really like the boss. These two don't fit together. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So these are just the these are the things that they have here. Okay. Yeah, Korea stage. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah. Thanks. Dude, well, maybe. I don't know. To me, Mukai has always feel, felt to me like human thwomp. Oh, well, let's see. This says, look at this. This is a 2D stages FG tumbler. Hey, there oh, you go. There we go. This is the stages we're missing. Uh, nice. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Choi is just chilling there. Who's this? Do we know? Do we know who the are these supposed to be Kim's kids? But they look no, way younger no. all of a sudden. No, it looks like a young Kenso maybe, but that's about it. Right. Oh, the cool arrows work. Whoa, is that a layer of fog that's supposed to be there? That yes, the that GIF doesn't work in the gif. Yeah, the gif is yeah. just messing up basically. Okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, a lot of people haven't played KOF before, but it's that's just the thing is like people probably should. <laughs> oh, here's the stage again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw this one as yeah. well. So we can, like, scroll through a little quicker until we yeah. get to, like, wait, what's that? There's that one. We saw that one. We saw that. Okay, so that's okay. all the ones that they have. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if we can even find the PS2 versions. What What other stages? What were, were we missing? Like, sheep stage, you said? Yeah, like, two, uh, KOF 2002. Let's see. Um, 
Rugal's demise. Oh, here's some stages here. That's all Rugal all the time. Yeah. Oh, is this a Rugal? Oh, actually, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Let's drop it. Yes. What's that? So the 13 stage. Just I just want to like just. Oh, that these one. are all Rugal's back. These are all Bernstein stages. Oh. So that is the 13 stage that has Adelheid and Rose yeah, chilling in back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay and it's okay. literally just the same ship. It's the Sky Noah. Right. Yeah. 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 It's, Fair I, enough. I just I don't, that was a good one. Anytime I get to see a stage carried over into another game, like we saw some of the 98 stages, uh -huh. it just makes me happy. Let's try this. Same thing mostly. Yeah. yeah. No. Same no. thing. I mean, just search 2002. Because is or no, it's not going to search within the same thing. Never mind. Oh, it is going to search within the same guy. Ah, Kingsfield. What in the? What in 2002? Does one make like a remake of Kingsfield with that? Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look good. I'm just looking to see if there's a 2002 thing over there. Yeah, I guess not here. Uh, Man, if I ever get Adelheid in uh, 15, I'm going to have a way hard time deciding what to make the uh, <laughs> Twitter avatar. Is it, Which one? Is 2002 you said has the sheep? Yep. Let's see if we can... Oh, yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay. So... It's giant clogs. It is this stage here, but this is the... Huh, interesting. Okay. So let's see if there's any... Oh, actually, you know what I can do? I can do this, which I only learned about recently, thanks to David. Uh, if that I, does not that help very help. much. No. All right. So let's try medium. Nope. Oh, oh, is, oh, here we go. There wait, we is go. that a photo of the real place or something? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, like... Or is that just a painted recreation? It might just I think it's just a painting. I think it's just a painting, yeah. That's neat, though. But here we go. There it is, finally. Yeah, there we yeah, go. That's what yeah, we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. See, oh, guys. it was in this one. There you go. Oh, here we go. Here they all are, finally. Okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> Do they? Holland's, of course, so they have to have the shoe, right? So. Yeah. I also love the little baby sheep. Like, oh, it's you. Oh, too. So for the for the ones that have KOF uh -huh. sheared into them. Oh man. And then here's the uh, sun. That's a good pupper. Oh, in the nighttime. And I don't think I've ever grizzly. seen the night version. To be honest, <laughs> like somehow this does not ring a bell. Oh man. Oh, that's all that are shown here. I see. Got it. Okay. Well, there you go. We found the sheep I mean, stage. I mean, honestly, sheep is just a good thing to put in any stage. Tekken did it too. Yeah, I mean, you could knock the sheep around yeah, in that game. That's a good ass stage, right? Hey, I mean, Nakali turns into one, and he, there's sheep in in that background too. So you know, you know, just just as a commentary of everybody using the same character all the time, right? Because they're all sheep. No, I'm kidding. Uh, anyways, moving okay. on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, there you go. That's that's, so that's all that. That, that covers all the basic yeah. Neo Geo KOFs and the it's, two until standard tw versions. Until to 12, right? Yeah. Neo Geo. So like, oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, as well yeah, yeah, as, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then okay, 11 okay. is like the gray area because it's still using the Neo Geo sprites. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, nice. yeah. Cool. Yeah, again, just really like that, the, the, the sprite work. Now, I mean, it, it's interesting because I talked about this on the Tuesday show a little bit. I was like, I don't feel like 3D stages have the same memory, memor like ability to stick in your head or have that same kind of cool factor to it. Some people are saying that there were some. They mentioned Dragon Ball Fighters, but I feel like that's more of a nostalgia kind of thing, right? Like, or a reference kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, and I mean, part of that is also a little bit of a cheating because the art style is meant to look as much like anime right, as possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just but, wondering, like... Like, most of those stages aren't great on their own. Like, if you right. don't care about Dragon Ball, those stages aren't going to affect right. you. I mean, honestly, like, in KOF 15, the Metal Slug stage is fantastic, but that one's also kind of like a nostalgia yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's still a pretty good stage yeah. if you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out, like, are there good examples of just stages these days that people will remember forever, you know what I mean? 
Because even like CVS2 has some, but I think they're more memorable for the music. Like you just remember Tuna with Bacon all the time. Every time you see the, the British stage, right? And even the Sand Dune ones is not super memorable. And uh, stuff. The uh, the festival in Japan with like the giant Howler yeah, 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 afloat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty uh-huh. good. Like it's crazy because CVS1. And I love beer. Like, see, <laughs> that guy, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that one always makes me laugh because in my combo video, uh, Madge does a kill combo on that one. And CVS takes forever after it goes, you win. And it sits there and it sits there and it sits there. And then the blue, the yellow squares <sighs> come. And so I cut it out. And so you can see the guy in the back with the beer go, <laughs> like this. And I always notice it because I'm the one who edited it. But mm-hmm. I don't think anybody else sees it. Uh, Garu, again, 2D game, though, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, so, the thing is, if we did that, we'd have to do, like, the Fatal Fury block. Right. but I'm Because there's, like, like, eight of them. Like, uh, in terms of, like, 3D backgrounds, like, Street Fighter Four, like, the most memorable ones are, like, the airplane one, because it makes everybody sick. Oh, I mean, five. Yeah, five, yeah. Street Fighter Five, right? Yeah, so, the beach stage, because it's a beach stage with, 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 with girls in bikinis, and you're not allowed to play it. Right, and there's cameos, right? Um... Like, it's interesting. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's just, like I said, I, I know there was one Street Fighter Cross Tekken stage that was similar to the Wolverine Waterfall stage that was kind of neat, I think it was. I mean, my but, favorite stage in Cross Tekken was the Mad Gear hideout, so. Oh, yeah, with Sodom running around and everything. Yeah, 100%. And oh, and then Hagar chasing everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> <terrible>. <laughs> mm. um, interesting. I mean, honestly... Some of the new Samurai Showdown stages, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. those are those are those are some really good ones. Yeah. I mean, it's tough for games like Tekken and Soul Calibur because they're not background stage like they're whole. World. Yeah, they're environments, and the stage yeah. has to be kind of bland so that you can actually do things right mm-hmm. dude when Tekken 4 and Virtual Fighter 3 tried to go with the multi-level route and like combos being affected that way like or DOA yeah DOA like, when, when DOA 2 dude even the most recent DOA where I forgot who it was but they like broke the barrier they wiggled their way through the barrier and just started running into the the, the the stratosphere and one stage ends with a giant hill that just goes down forever and somehow th- that was all mapped to surface and the character was running up and down the thing. It was like... Well, then that's probably more of a... Like, a, like they coded this texture has collision. Kind right, of thing. yeah, exactly. Just flat out did it. Yeah, and so it just kind of worked in a weird way, so... Um, I feel like Marvel actually had some good stages, too. Uh, three, two. three, yeah. Like, the, the Daily Bugle yeah, one is really good. The that's Daily a Bugle good ones, Yeah, that's a good stage. That's a good stage. But yeah, it's it's hard to think of like stages that are like really really awesome and pretty that aren't just homages right. that you care about half as much as some of these you're seeing for the first time. Yeah, uh, it's it's interesting. Hmm. I think it might be a fun exercise though. Like get, go through this week and be like, okay, a stage rendered in three D that means anything compared to like right. looking at some of these uh, old things. Try to try to look for it right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, See, but it's 2D. 2D. It's 2D. That's right? exactly the point. Like, yeah, Blaze Blue has some gorgeous fucking stages, but they're drawn. Like, mm-hmm, they're not mm-hmm. 3D models being rendered. Right. And like I was saying earlier, I feel like that makes a weird difference because. Oh, good call. Street Fighter Four is Eclipse. Which one's the Eclipse one? The one where you're like in the savannah in Africa and an eclipse is occurring. And you got like oh, hippos and yeah, shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's right. Fucking that's, awesome. that's right. That's All right. right yeah. Good call. Because that was ultra only. Because that was Elena stage. Yeah, wasn't it? I believe so. Or something like that. I can't even remember. But you know, I mean, honestly, it's like I said, the interesting thing about it is, I I think I just process two D stages differently because I look at them more like artistic mm-hmm. like d- artist whereas i see 3d backgrounds and it feels like oh i'm rendering something as realistic as well, possible i mean it's it's literally <laughs> like because you're seeing this model and this model and this model and this model and not one flat image right exactly and i think that's what it is and mm-hmm. like because in 2d even with parallax you still know it's basically supposed to be one image mm-hmm, mm-hmm. exactly and the moment exactly. you have like a dude walking around in the back who can walk away and leave and then you've got this like tree that he's standing mm-hmm. behind it stops being one image and starts being yeah. multiple although elements. I, I will say what was fascinating is someone broke the camera in those in street fighter 5 like on the beach stage and that like condo in the background is rendered way more than you possibly okay street fighter 5 does do street fighter does too much yeah, on some of those uh-huh, like uh-huh. Cons- uh, the, 
the Kazuki oh, estate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They uh, found uh, out uh, that has way too much going on. Yeah, I mean, well, and I think even the whole... Sakura's house has too much going oh, on. Oh, yeah. Like, her neighborhood. <laughs> like, I know Kanzuki stage has that whole dining room area, but that's also in the story mode. They use that area yeah. in the story um, mode. A lot, of, a lot of the, like, recent Capcom stuff has rendered the stage, like... Probably about what twenty feet behind yeah, the camera, uh-huh. so if you ever get turned, you actually still see stuff. Even like the boxer stage, the 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 the, the homage to the old stage. There's a lot I'm going on. Surprised. Like you can go down alleys and stuff. Like it's actually yeah. fascinating to see. Yeah, those some of the, some of the really cool camera hacks. Yeah, but it's like. It's cool, but also kind of why. Oh yeah, no, we've definitely talked about Last Blade yeah. last week because Last Blade stage is fucking out of control. I think Last Blade is like one of the only games that really like gives Vampire a run for its money in terms of just a gorgeous fucking stage. <laughs> that and just, well, I mean, in all fairness, Slam Masters is awesome. <laughs> so, like, yeah. yeah. Anytime you get a wrestling stage, you're in good shape. Like, Mark of the Wolves has one. Because oh, Tzox, yeah. Tzox level is actually a wrestling yeah. I mean, I feel like Sodom should have one thanks to Final Fight, right? But, I mean... I, I, had to, I like him being an awful weeb. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, I actually uh, have way more fun with that, dude. I mean, it's actually really funny that in the Teppen game that they turned him into a huge fan of Steel Samurai. You know, the the Phoenix Wright thing. Like when I saw them do that, I was like, "That's good stuff. That's good. That's a good way to tie the lores together." You know. Also, yes, I, I like that doing a big next line. Oh. Which one was that? That's Tzok's super throw. Oh, is it? Oh, but just make, having okay. to make it two independent posts for that pause. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you got anything else you want to talk yes, about? Yes, I here? do. Okay, okay. So Kitty was out shopping, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and she found this jacket that, <laughs> that reminded her a little too much of Rock Howard's jacket. Okay. okay. And it's like, like with like mixed colors and stuff. So, uh, Should I she's sh- like, she's like, where's the original picture? I, I DM'd, I DM'd the things to you. So I'd say open okay. it up on your other window and then just verify the postings. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the reverse Rock Howard jacket kind of thing. And so, Whoa. oh, here it is. This so that's, one. that's yeah, the original yeah. image. So open that in a new tab. Yeah. And so she's like, Hey guys, should I, should I buy this? What do you think? And rather than answering Someone replied with kind of the most amazing post reply that you possibly could. And I'm not going to add context. I'm just going to let you look at this picture and then look at the follow-up. Oh, you didn't make this. You didn't... I did not. Oh, you did not make this. No, this, this. is in okay, the thread. Okay, okay, okay. Someone looked at this, and the first thing they came up with was this. <laughs> Like, the fact that you actually saw the wooden hangers beneath and was like, I know what this looks like. Fucking absolutely genius. <laughs> so, just wooden hangers and just turn to, them into... I need to get the thread just because I want to thank whoever did that. Oh, no, that's not the right one. That was what have the, you done? That was the article again about the person who dug up the Hypergeo Neo 64. Why is that still... I mean, not that I'm complaining, but why is that still there? Because I never read it, and this is why I have 7,000 tabs open, because... Because just like everything else, you started but never finished it? Yeah, and basically I'm like, (laughs) you know what? I'm going to read this eventually, and I never do, so... Just like all the video games that I play and everything, so... I'm just shooting shots... Like, firing shots everywhere, apparently. Yeah, but it's all... Ah, so, so T Forgery... T forgery. Okay, there just you go. did that. Like, yo, these <laughs> DLC costumes are getting weird. <laughs> so uh, I mean, there just feels like that. There's some sort of like luau rock or something, you know? Like I mean, it was just like some locale or something. I mean, you could at least let him take his jacket off and just have the t-shirt and then like the hula skirt and be done. But... <laughs> no, no, no. It has to just be rock with the hula outfit there. So nicely done. Oh man. Okay. So anyways, I think that's um, it. Other th- uh, other than the only... We only have one thing more we could possibly talk about. Uh, thank you for to Rock Bogard here. Ah, uh, welcome uh, back, Rock Bogard. Uh, Rock Bogard is like, SNK. you know what? Now I know Love I must be a passion and discussion. <laughs> so if I recall correctly, there was a picture one time that somebody made of... Like, you've seen those YouTube videos of, um, like, for, for, this, for a man's birthday... Um, like his like stepchildren or adopted children, ever 
bring the papers of them legally changing their name. Oh, and, like, yeah, was, and, like, yeah, 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 And, like, yeah, yeah. oh, my uh-huh, God, starts uh-huh, crying. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Someone uh-huh. at one time did one of Rock and Terry. <laughs> Of him, like, getting the adoption papers and legally changing his name, and Terry's so, just so fucking to rock crying. Power, yeah. To Rock Bogart, I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So, like, now that I see Rock Bogart, like, I thought yeah. about that. I mean, like, <laughs> legally changing a name and being adopted, and Terry That's just funny. crying. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so the only other thing we could talk about for a moment, I, I, I want to talk about it, but I want to do it really short. It was really short, because we could probably spend an hour on it, and we shouldn't. Okay. If it's about Transformers, yeah, we'll, I'll try to keep it as short as possible. You're just trying to make me I, mad I, 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 I am, I am, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Harada's unfortunate remarks. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. All right, like... Buzzword kind of thing? Yes, yeah, that, that whole uh-huh, thing. Yeah, uh-huh. Look. He handled... It's, it's handled badly... The translations probably didn't help. He has backed off and he made statements. Uh, 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 uh. The fact is, is that he's not completely wrong. Uh, uh, uh. Because if you ever just sit in any Twitter conversation about any fighting game that's been out for a while, uh, especially Samurai Showdown, uh, you'll have people who are like, I want rollback back netcode, put it in! Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You fucking can't. <laughs> like uh, these companies are not going to invest an extra hundred thousand dollars for goodwill. Right. Like it's yeah. not practical. It's not feasible. And that's assuming they even can. Period. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And him calling it a buzzword is unfortunately not completely off base. Yeah. I mean, obviously, a lot through Maximilian, a lot through Sagem has really kind of, you know, pushed that a lot. Yeah. Justifiably so, because yeah. Yeah, no, sure. I mean we need our games to be fucking yeah, playable. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. No, like like it I love Samurai Showdown, and the fact is is that through its own it like playing it by itself, I can't play people online. Right. You can't. Yeah. I mean the, the fact that Guilty Gear has the second highest concurrent mm-hmm. on the Guilty Gear franchise. And I guarantee you before Stripe, a lot of people were really, probably not even gonna try. Yeah, yeah, like they just have no idea what the hell Guilty Gear or didn't care. But rollback netcode, all the good word of mouth about it, mm-hmm. you know, it it's it is it I mean like it it is like let's put it this way. I'm just gonna put it this way, right? <laughs> I'm just going to put it this way. Uh, so this is like someone talking smack about Kenso. You know, someone please ban. <laughs> but um, like the whole thing about it was, oh God, I can't remember what I was talking about. What was I just saying? Rollback netcode, buzzwords. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Player like base. think about Virtual Fighter 5 right now. All right. Virtual Fighter 5 came out. Everybody was like, oh, sick. Virtual Strive. I haven't heard a goddamn thing about Virtua Fighter 5 since then. Like, nobody... T- if they actually... Yeah, like, we're not even complaining about it Right, anymore. uh-huh. Like, if they actually delayed the game for another five months and released it with rollback netcode after Strive had calmed down a little bit, that game would probably make more money even after having spent... That extra money yeah. to put the rollback. No, I mean, I mean, hard there. drive had the greatest fucking Ugh. thing ever. It was oh. like, oh god, that... we we are we are giving this ten out of ten to this mediocre port because the success of this game, uh, you know, determines <laughs> the life of the franchise. Right? Or whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like the street called it mediocre, but we're giving it a ten out of ten. Right. Like, Ugh, that just was calling brutal, it dude. out. It was brutal, especially because you know we've seen it happen. Yeah. Vampire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, I still bought that port. I'm not part too. of the problem. I did too. And look at what too. never fucking happened right. anyway. Well, it's because I heard not a lot of people bought that port. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, look, Sam Show has been overdue for Steam for a long damn time, and I'm glad it's on sale. But the fact that it's just the Epic Game Store version on Steam right. is pretty unfortunate. And, and, and honestly, Samurai Shodan has been dropping the ball for two years now. Yeah, so I mean, like... I, that's that, that's part of the problem, too, is, like, it's not... It is worth noting, SNK is not the biggest company. Right. And it's, like, they can make Samurai Shodown better and better and better, 
or we can get KOF, and they decided we were getting KOF. Right. And, and at least more DLC characters yeah. for Samurai I mean, they didn't, ab- right. they didn't abandon the game, but every, anyone who is still playing Sam Show is pretty much single-handedly supporting it. I mean, the, the hardest part for me is Amakusa just came out. I haven't touched him yet. I've barely touched Tabiki, and I want to like mess with all these characters, but I the 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 drive for me is is low because yeah. I can't play it. You well, I mean, I mean, I'm here. Yeah. So I mean, but, we can throw it in for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I guess it's true. We can just mess. Well, with I, I want to try Amoxa. I mean, yeah. I've I've been hearing Amoxa is really fun and really cool, and Amoxa mirrors are about the funniest goddamn thing. <laughs> oh God. I think it was, it was Angela Pickles, I think, was the oh, one who yeah. was like, honestly, Amoxa Mirrors are just everyone playing dodgeball. <laughs> I was like, that sounds kind of fucking That's cool. Hilarious. But, you know, <laughs> if you want to play someone, if you want to play against someone that you don't live with, you have to play on Parson. Right, yeah. And I mean, you know, mild kudos to SNK for being like, Fuck yeah, run on Parsec. It works. Go for it. <laughs> We're not gonna stop you. Yeah, I mean, but it's I mean because it they was know Capcom, it. they would have stopped it. If it was Nintendo, they'd have sued you. Yeah, <laughs> basically. But oh man, the fact that like you know I, I, that to me also says that they're admitting that they have to focus everything into fifteen. Mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. you know the Sam Show netcode and lobbies are not getting fixed. Yeah. But, I mean, we've only got one more character left to come out, and then the game is finished anyway. Pretty so, much, yeah. And that's the other thing. Like, you really want them to try to blow $100,000 on goodwill for a game they're about to stop supporting anyway? Yeah, that's the thing. It's not worth it at that there's, point There's in time. no it's reason. It's not worth it at that point in time. So. I mean, shit, if Street Fighter V's not going to get its netcode fixed by now, Sam Show's sure is fucked. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> Street Fighter V's isn't beyond fixing either. Right. So. Hmm. But, yeah, I mean, again, Harada, Harada could have handled that conversation a lot better, but he's not completely off base saying it's a buzzword because people will just throw it out, not understanding the ramifications of it. Yeah, I, I Like, just... you have to ask for it before the game comes out. Like, I mean, you know, we've got that thing saying KOF is, you know, they are working on it. Right, yeah. The, the, I think the thing that bothers me the most about it, though, is that I... Not what Harada said about this is that... Too, too many people out there have the ability to say that rollback doesn't work in 3D games. Not just it's drawn in 3D, but the fact that you have to move around in 3D. I just want a game that played that way with rollback to come out so we can put that well, to rest. But doesn't Tekken have rollback? It's just not as well implemented as it could be? They said it's like three frames at max yeah. or something like that. And so that, so. I mean, at least Harada has the follow-up post. Right, where he's like, yeah. we're in a transitional period. I'm going to see if I can adjust that fixed rate. Right. And uh, if he does that, then he's going to prove himself wrong and he's going to prove everyone else wrong and then we'll have more empirical evidence of how much better it can be. Right, exactly. That's just the thing. Is like I'm wondering if there is a reason why they limited it to three because they couldn't figure like if they did any more it was like you know i mean maybe they had issues with teleporting hair oh no right or something like that yeah because i mean honestly those kind of problems i feel like exist in every game right like mika's hair goes all over the place mika's hair goes all over the place offline yeah (laughs) exactly and that's what i mean but even in her wind pose her hair is in a different position like sometimes it just blocks her face entirely you know i've had uh bison's coat Uh, invert itself through my torso (laughs) Whatever. Yeah, shit happens. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not like my whole point is that obviously roll back and handle these kind of situations, right? It's existed. It's people are now trying to use the argument that oh no, it's because you've got the extra dimensional plane that they move no, on. No, no, that right? is not how yeah, this shit works. I know exactly. That's just the thing. But the thing is, I can't say that because I don't have the game out there that can shut them up with it, right? So that's why I'm waiting for yeah, a game well, that I mean, actually does. So that's that. part of the problem is negative bias, right? Is that humans like to believe the worst? Yeah, of course. And so if something doesn't work because reasons, I'm more inclined than you know, I'm more inclined to believe that right. than this uh, can work. But nobody's trying to do it right i mean i just saw that doesn't a, make sense no of course i just saw a post out there that was like so this is what a vaccine is made up of would you want to put this in your body it was like ethanol or whatever mercury. mercury yeah all, no it was just like all this stuff right and someone responded with hell no and he's like that's really interesting because actually this is the makeup of an apple mm-hmm. 
you know? Yep. <laughs> and Perfect. it's just like, you just have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Uh -huh. You have no idea. Like, this is literally everything that makes up an apple. Yeah, no, I mean, and the thing is, it's always great when you get those. Because you get the ones people who talk about, like, this book passage or this book passage, this author, this author. Or one of the other ones that was good was... um. Uh, during World War II, or no, during the Cold War, like, the Soviet Union had 20% of the world's population in gulags and mm -hmm. prisons. Oh, no, wait, sorry, that's America right now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> whoa! Whoa! You know, uh, like, you could just present anything as slightly different to fill their expectations. You're like, yeah, of course that makes sense. Right. Like, actually, it's this, and make them feel real stupid. Yeah, I mean, the... the, the Facts one, are meaningless. They can be used to prove anything. The, the one that they took the Quran book cover and wrapped yeah. it around a Bible, right? And, they read, and people were very prepared to be upset yeah, and wrong. Yeah. Mm, exactly, exactly. It's, it's, there's a lot of that negative or confirmation bias or yeah. whatever. So. Dude, can you imagine if Smash Ultimate actually had rollback? I mean, first they'd have to also make it a lot easier to connect to a wired connection, but hey. There just wouldn't be any other fighting game if Smash Ultimate had rollback netcode, I feel like. Dude, you, know? you know what I did today by accident? I saw how many followers Sakurai has on Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. I feel like that was a bad decision. <laughs> it was something like million, right? Like 770K. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. he's wow. getting there. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that's more followers than anyone FGC combined. Yeah. Like, well, like, I, I mean, like maybe, like, um, you plus Sonic Fox... Plus Ultra David, you plus Maximilian, Mark then Man, Ma then Mark Man Justin Wong. They have a, like I, I'm actually. What is, it just, what is Justin at? He's like over a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, okay, right now, but let's so. like, all of them combined. Right, yeah. and then we might hit Sakurai. <laughs> so the fact is, like you know, yeah, we so get, he's at one hundred and forty. He's shit, at one hundred and forty, right? So yeah, and I'm sure Sonic Fox is way the fuck up oh, there. Oh gosh. Um. Son of two hundred and thirty-two k. There you go. Holy crap! Okay, um, what's Maximilian at right now? He's at three hundred seven. Wow, good shit. So there you go. There, I mean, there you go. Th those three combined. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's also the biggest names we have, other than Daigo. Yeah, exactly. Combined to to catch up to Sakurai. So the thing is, when you get into the things today, yeah, like Daigo. like we've seen the um. Wow, that's actually kind of low. Yeah. Like, well, I expected if he, higher. If Daigo spoke more English, probably. That's fair. Because the thing about it is I don't think Japan is as obsessed with Twitter as the U.S. is, right? That's so, fair. Yeah. Um, so you've been seeing a lot of the arguments about, like, Smash players getting another fighting game character in their <laughs> game. And are we going to call it a Shoto yeah. and all that stuff? I just want to say it's not just that Smash players are that way uh, is it when you have such a big sample size you're gonna get more dumb people yeah. too i mean the funniest thing was they were saying they were calling kazuya so shoto because he doesn't turn around yep, and that's what and it is and backs. So, so i was like oh, okay so shoto's are characters that don't turn around and they have mama mia's right yeah. so. mama mia, of course <laughs> the mama mia's so dude. yeah like there because there are reasonable people in the smash community right. um, and there are Horribly unreasonable people in you know the, the traditional fighting right, game communities. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can't paint the entire Smash scene based off of those few people, yeah. honestly. Yeah, I mean there so. there are some bad things, and like one that really got me, Hungry Box was ready to jump on board and cause you as a Shoto and all this bad stuff, and then he actually sat down, did research, and was like, I educated myself. I'm backing off of it. Fair enough. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? At, at least you actually took the time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, we're, yeah. The people, they're louder than, than everybody else, basically. So the weirdos. So. Yeah. So, like, yeah. you're going to get a big sample size. You're going to get this. It's going to change everything. So with that in mind, for our games, sometimes we need to be kind of loud assholes to make sure we're heard. Mm, yeah. So, I it's... mean, to be fair, if it wasn't for all those polls and the things that we filled out from all the Arc Revo and all those tournaments... Strive wouldn't Evo, have rollback. Strive wouldn't have rollback, and we would just be sitting here with another fighting game where we just didn't give a crap about anymore after a few weeks because we can't play it online. I mean, I definitely wouldn't have probably even played in the betas. Right, exactly. And it's like... Now it's 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 playable and yeah. it's like it's it's I just, you can't deny that dude like so I mean if KOF like I mean KOF is getting delayed obviously but hopefully that really means we get betas 
and tests and everything. Yeah, we need it. We need a beta. We need rollback. Because I mean, even the other thing too is Li Joe was on our show yesterday, and he was talking about this that you know even between beta one, beta two, and the current release of Strive, he thinks this is the best version of Strive out of all three of those. That's reasonable. And he says they did it because they actually listened to a lot of the things that people said. Mm -hmm. Like, you know... Yeah, oh, now, I mean, admittedly, when I was at Arc Revo, I definitely wanted to watch the world burn, and I asked for Robokai Mark II, <laughs> so... Yeah, well, that's fair. I mean, that's... <laughs> I mean, I, I actually asked for Testament, but I also said... And Robokai Mark II. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Testament is also wanting the world to burn. Zappa is wanting the world to burn. I mean, frankly. Uh. And you know what? It's not my fault that not enough games have interesting zoners. Yeah. yeah Much less true. an interesting zoner with one or two actual, like, approach and neutral tools. Yeah. Who is also an angsty goth kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... It's and just... has a scythe. And it's, a bird. It's just crazy how much zoners get such a bad rap now that we barely have any zoners. And it's I'm getting scared that the thing is going to happen to grapplers, too, because the grappler hate is on another level right now. But <laughs> Extra strong, large trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like, though, that one is a little more meme than it is. But there are definitely some people. But zoners, zoners are the ones that when everybody watches, everybody's like, oh, Resident Sleeper, oh, this game is stupid, this game is boring, and blah, 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 blah. You when know? only that's Injustice. And the thing about In, it is... Injustice is like week one zoning was awful. Yeah, but even then, it, there was a lot of fascinating... Like, if you got... The hard part was it is that you have to get good to be able to beat it. Right. If you yeah. if you didn't take the time and most people aren't going to take the time. Right. And so because the zoning is easy against bad players, bad players can zone better than bad players can fight zoning, yeah. which is why zoning is one of those things that you can't because, make top because tier. It's because it's a huge scrub killer. Right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. I mean, the thing is, is that designing a good grappler that's not horrifically overpowered is tricky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very mm -hmm. tricky. Um, designing a zoner that stays good at the top is also tricky without making them stupid. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But if, mm -hmm. if zoners were inherently that much of a problem, Chris G would have won, like, every tournament in Marvel. Right. All of them. Yeah. Period. I mean... He won a lot, <laughs> but he wasn't completely insurmountable. Yeah, and plus, on top of that, Morgan is one of the most broken zoners of yeah. reading recent fighting game the, history. Probably the past 15 plus years. Yeah. I mean, well, except for maybe Blaze Blue launch. Okay. Because <laughs> there, there were there were three of them. Yeah, that's right, dude. The craziest thing was like, I mean, the best way to put it is Harlequin in Injustice is kind of a zoner, right? She's is she? sort of, yeah, because she threw the cupcake bombs. You had the dogs that attacked you from the ground and all this stuff like that. Is this one or two? Two. Okay, yeah, I didn't I, I didn't play two because I played it for five minutes and I didn't like it. Okay, so. I, I played Harlequin. And there were some matches where the opponent couldn't do jack shit. Like, every time they jumped, I had the cupcake mm -hmm. bombs ready for them. No, no, no. And it was because they were getting frustrated. It was very easy to read what they wanted mm -hmm. to do. Then I would fight the people who knew how to fight zoners and were patient, and I felt like I couldn't keep them out worth mm -hmm. shit. And they would be using some of the same characters, too. And that's just, it's just people don't realize that that's how you have to approach well, it. Well, I mean, like we, like we talked about in Strive, is that they started nerfing a bunch of characters because people wouldn't learn how to deal with the move with a throw. Yeah, mm -hmm, like, exactly. You know, like I mean, Mega, honestly, Mega Fist and Hammerfall, Leo's cross through. The Hammerfall was a Hammerfall. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah Hammerfall. Hammerfall was a mistake. Like not having that be safe on block actually, I think hurt him a lot. Mm -hmm. It turns out that it hurt him a lot because obviously, if you see, that's the thing is, if you use it raw, you deserve to get thrown and uh -huh. have it suck, right? But like, if I can get through a move and armor through a move and punch you at the last second and you still manage to block, like I should. Make it zero. I should be rewarded but for that. Make it zero, yeah, make it minus right. two. Yeah, Fine. exactly. But, you know, the minus 14 or whatever. Yeah. Like, I didn't need that. It's, it's crazy it's, it's, right just throw now. Him. Just throw them. Yeah, every time you see it, you just throw them every single time. I, I don't know enough about I don't about know enough about Virtua Fighter. Yeah, a, a Virtua Fighter to be able to say, unfortunately. And that was the worst thing, too, is I sat there and I played Virtua Fighter. You were so happy. I, I streamed it for one day. I was like, this is cool. Oh, my God, Wolf is so cool. I just... I, I haven't touched it because it's like Strive came out, you know, and it's just like, why did they release it well, a week before? I think better than me, I haven't played a fighting game in the past week. Yeah, I haven't played PSO2. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. 
Uh, anyways. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think we've derailed ourselves enough. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, netcode net is a very powerful word. Rollback is a powerful word. It is something that means something, but shouldn't just be thrown around willy-nilly right. because it's not always feasible. What could we use for a theme song to close out since we don't have a character? Is there, like, a good Amakusa theme here? Uh, okay, you keep saying Amakusa. Amakusa, yeah. Amakusa is the classic white man way to say it. Ryu. So, Ryu. Ryu from the bayou, basically. All right, we'll just play the, yeah. the modern one, then. Perfect. From the bayou. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But thank you guys for watching here. Uh... Hope you guys enjoyed it again, and hopefully we'll get the new character next week. Uh, follow Synchronize on Twitter. Follow Synchronize on Twitter. Oh, and, I uh, to put message back up. And, uh, we'll see oh, you again. Oh, that's right, I broke it, that's why it's not up. And, ah. and then we will see you again next week, 6 p.m. Pacific. And we wait for next week's trailer. And the, 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 the silhouette on Twitter. <laughs> Never get told. Spam the chat with the kill faces. Thank you guys very much. Uh, stay safe. Please social distance. And, uh, wear your masks. Black lives matter. Trans lives matter. Stop agent hate. Dude, my cats recognize those words now. You see that? They start looking You're, you have them. like Pavlovian cats. I do. After I a do. couple of weeks of the same thing, they know exactly what Yeah, happened. every time I start saying that. They're probably already salivating. Yeah, it's probably. Okay, see you guys later. Take care.